How's it going guys? <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight on this blessed, what day is it? Friday night? It's Friday night guys, like the Katy Perry song. We're going to get really drunk and naked and get kicked out of bars, like in the Katy Perry song. Definitely not just playing Dark Souls 3. Ah. I made myself a sandwich. Because I am very hungry. And I couldn't think of anything else to make. Hey, kitty. Kitty's been acting up today. It's not his fault. Yeah. I know. Next drinking stream when soon. My mom is currently staying over. And my mom has two dogs. Which means there are three dogs upstairs. And one is a very large dog. Which means Katie doesn't like it upstairs right now. And he's grumpy because upstairs is his favorite place. But he doesn't get to be there. Yeah, are you grumpy? Big grump? Huh? Grumpy boy? Yeah, I 
Grumpy, Grumpy Grump. He's doing good. Phantom Mom. <laughs> yeah, Phantom Mom. I gotta join the trend of all the other VTubers. I gotta bring my mom on stream and give her a ridiculously curvy model. That'll get me to finally show up on people's clipping streams, right? On their clipping channels? Maybe that's actually the key. Maybe I gotta start baiting clippers. Do it, no balls. I got myself a, a honey ham and pepper jack cheese sandwich. And a can of cock. Mmm. Katie, what do you think? He thinks it's crazy. Also puff it a little bit. I still don't have my stuff that I bought. So I'm still using the sticks. <laughs> and of what? Share? Hey, and my cock. You can't have it. I still have a ton of Coca-Cola and like that sun-kissed berry lemonade. I got a ton of it. That stuff's good. It feels like it's been lasting forever. I feel like I've been drinking it for like two weeks. Gameless. Unless? Ah. Uh, I mean... You're allowed to be shameless in my chat. I'm a V-Coomer, right? I'm a V-Coomer, so it's fine. It is what it is. It's too bad. You know what emote we need? You know the Pepe emote where he's looking back at the screen? We need one of those. We need one of those. That way I could be like, Oh no guys, I gotta bend over and pick this item up. Oh, I, I bent over and picked it up and then you guys can spam the emote because my butt was on the screen. Bro, I got a new Hawaiian shirt today. I look way better in it than I would thought. Hell yeah, buddy. It's your ethnicity. You were born to wear that shirt. My grandparents had the toaster set to way high of a setting. My bread got kind of burnt. That's all right. I'm one of those weirdos. I actually like the taste of char. I prefer almost everything that can be charred, charred. Like when I grill hot dogs, I grill them until they're charred. I grill uh, burgers until they're charred. I grill pretty much anything I grill, I grill until charred. You don't mind me asking, didn't you make a list of the things you've been called? Did I? What a weirdo, I do the same. I think it adds flavor. I know a bunch of people, IRL, that fucking hate it when things are charred. It's a lot of extended family. And like when when we would go to big... Yeah, Sunvi had a list a long time ago. That when, we, when we'd go to like big family gatherings, uh, we'd go to the big family gatherings at like campsites mostly. We we loved going to like campsites. I still do. I haven't in a really really long time, and I want to again. Even if it was solo, I'd want to. Where do you draw the line between charred and burnt? Um, it's kind of hard to say, but it shouldn't be fully charred. Like it should have spots. Like a good char on bread will have like a good amount of black to it, but still also a lot of like gold to it, right? And then with hot dogs, it's like you want strips of char on it. You don't want it to just be a 
you don't want it to look like a turd. That, that's the best analogy I can come up with. It's like a, like a nutmeg bar. You you want it you, like it has to be spotchy. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, they're not the same thing. If you burn it all the way around, it gets like a crust. And that crust turns into powder when you bite it, and it tastes awful. When it that you don't want it to get powderized. You want it to be crunchy. You don't want it to literally literally be ashes. Like if you let it cool down and start turning white. You don't want that shit. Bread is all crushed, bro. That's not true. Cut it into slices. You just let marshmallows burn. Nowadays, I haven't in like two years. But now, I, it's almost like a mini game to me making marshmallows, trying to make it as gold as possible without burning it. But when I was a kid, and honestly, I would probably still do this now. Like, I'd just light the marshmallow on fire and then blow it out after it burns for a moment. It was cool, it was fun, and it made for bomb s'mores because the s'mores like completely melted. Neither of you have ever, ever had flame cooked marshmallows? You guys are crazy. You guys need to. Yeah, like so many people sit there, oh, I must carefully cook it on all sides. I must carefully cook it on all sides. I just take it, put it on a skewer, stuff it in the fire until it catches on fire. Like stick it right in the flames and pull it out. Hold it for a moment, watching it, make sure it like cooks all the way around and blow it out. Pop it down on a graham cracker with some Hershey's chocolate. Fucking delicious. Don't you dare try to tell me that eating marshmallows, eating marshmallow, sh marshmallow s'mores is a cultural thing. If it is, goddamn, am I proud to be an American? Well, ideally, ideally, if we're being honest. Cooking hot dogs, cooking marshmallows, and cooking like anything on a stick over a fire. You're not supposed to do it over a flame. You're supposed to start a fire, let like one good log burn down to to ashes and, and charcoal, and then like cook it over the coals. Because it's actually hotter right next to the coals than it is inside of the flame. And the flame won't catch it on fire if there's no flame because it's just really hot coals. So what you're supposed to do is you start the campfire, you let it burn down, then you cook over top of it. Then when everyone's done cooking, you add more to the fire to get it back up to being a heat fire that'll keep you warm at night. To us one day on stream, good content. I totally will, dude. I will totally go camping for stream. A hundred percent. I'll go camping, we'll make s'mores, we'll hang out. It'll be great. What's camping? You can either go out into the woods or into a campground. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, there's no way. My grandparents have a ton of, like, uh, camping tents and stuff here, so I could totally set up a tent. We got tents, sleeping bags, and everything. I could just go get one. They're not that expensive. Unless you're buying... Some people buy the most over-the-top tents. Like, the tents me and my family would always sleep in, just square tents with, like, a rounded top. That's it. Nothing crazy. It's usually got two doors and a mosquito mesh. And then like a, a vaulted overhang that'll keep water from collecting on top of the tent. That's all that it is. And then like we'd see my family friends and they come out with their like seven room tent 
and it takes them all day to get it set up. And I'm like, that thing costed you is like, that, that thing probably costed them more than my car costed me. That's crazy. But it's also cool, and if I could get one without spending that kind of money, I would. Giddy, knock it off. Almost done with my sandwich. Over where I live, everything is forest. Forest and farmland. Everywhere. There's tons of places to camp. You can camp in your own property, you can camp in a family's property, or there are campgrounds literally like every other street. There's campgrounds all over the place. You go to a campground that's more in town area, and like there'll be trees and stuff, but it's usually has like RV hookups and stuff for power. And then there's bigger campgrounds where you have to reserve and you can get a power line and a gas line and a water line dedicated to your camp area. And then there's other campgrounds where it's literally this chunk of dirt is yours for the night. Uh, see ya. I like that kind. Kitty. I used to always tell myself if I never made it as anything else, like if I made games and they failed, if I streamed for a long time and nobody watched it, and I had nothing else to do, I'd become a fucking park ranger. Like a, a fire tower watch park ranger. And sit up on a fire tower for a couple months out of the year, just chilling up there, watching, watching YouTube videos, listening to music, responding to pretty quiet nights, Looking out over the camping area, making sure no one's doing any crazy shit. That would be so cool. You're supposed to camp in places far from where you live. Usually, yes, you don't try to camp. Like, you can quote-unquote camp in your backyard, but most people wouldn't call that camping. It's like a little kid's version of camping. Usually, you, the farther you go, the better, because it's an exploration then. You can treat it like going on a vacation. When I went to Canada, I went to... Fuck, what... what Providence was it? Was it... What province did I go to? Was it Ontario? Yes, Ontario. My uncle got married in Ontario, so we road tripped over all the way over there. He got married um, right next to Niagara Falls. It was a really nice, pretty little church that was next to a barn. And he got married in the little church, and then we crossed the street, and everybody celebrated in the barn. Uh, a bunch of people were smoking weed because it's legal there. Um, and people were like drinking and stuff. It, that was a beautiful wedding. But for like the whole thing, everyone was like, we're going to justify the trip because it's going to be a big family vacation. We're going to do a whole bunch of different stuff. And we did. We went to Niagara Falls and physically saw it. It was cool. Eh. There's a whole bunch of like rides and stuff next to it. It's like an amusement park surrounds Niagara Falls, which is kind of cool. We didn't really go on anything, but we did go through like a haunted house and we did go through a couple other stuff. The haunted house was a lot of fun. I've said a couple stories about the haunted house on the stream before, which was, which was a lot of fun. Um, I almost bought a dead mouse hoodie where the hood zips all the way up and then the big ears pop out. But uh, we stayed at a campsite because if we wanted to, like, get hotels, getting hotel rooms in the same town that's, like, right next to Niagara Falls, 
so fucking expensive. So fucking expensive. So we just went to a campground instead. And we we slept in tents. Tents and RVs. That campground was beautiful. It was pretty pretty it was pretty tame though. It wasn't anything too crazy. We had internet. I remember listening to um I remember reading Negima. I, I brought my Negima manga to read on the trip and listening to League of Legends fan parody songs on my iPod. That was a long time ago. That was 11 years ago. Holy shit. I live in the mountains, you fool. If I go too far, I'll end up in the beach. I categorize camping near civilization as urban camping and as actual camping. Yes. Urban camping is an actual term, if I remember correctly. I don't like sand ages too much. I like bitches, not beaches. Nice. Bitches in bikinis. Think about it. Don't need one. True. That's true. The bitches are better outside of the bikinis. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Good kid. Alrighty. Food is done. Which means... It is time. Sandwich. I ate it a sandwich. Uh... Honey ham and pepper jack cheese. Yummy. Simple, delicious. I wish I had some onion sprouts and alfalfa to go with it. That would be so good. All right. So, over the past couple of weeks, talking in at about a week per. We have been blasting through. That is a hot sandwich. Mmm. Fucking delicious. We have been blasting through the Souls games in preparation for the Elden Ring DLC that comes out in almost two months exact. This game is also going to be a longer one. This is probably going to take us a solid week to get through. But we have gotten through Demon Souls, which is one of my favorites. Dark Souls 1, which is an absolute classic. And Dark Souls 2, which... As a, it's it's a good game. It, it's it's not a very good Souls game, but it's a good game. This is the best Souls game. For all I know, Bloodborne is going to be better. I have no idea because I've never played Bloodborne, and that is next up on the list after this game. But Dark Souls Three. For everything that I complained about with Dark Souls 2. Oh, did I fuck up the hashtag again? Hold on. Thank you. For everything that I complained about with Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 has none of it. Whereas Dark Souls 2 is a really good game but changes too much for me. Dark Souls 3 goes back to the original formula of Dark Souls 1 and fucking perfects it. This game is so good. It is gorgeous. It returns to the original formula for bosses and world design. The worlds, the monsters, the weapons, the combat, the roles, the puzzles, the story, all of it is so fucking peak. You guys have no idea. We are going to be fighting a ton of bosses today that are some of my, like, I shit you not. In, with with Dark Souls 1, it's like, yeah, these guys are cool, these guys are cool, now this is cool, and then this is cool, but now this is cool. With Demon Souls, it's like, I love this area, I love this area, this area is it. I love this area, I love this area. With Dark Souls 2, it's, I know the first three-fourths suck, but just wait until we get to the DLCs. Then it's going to be great. This game is peak from the moment it starts to the moment it ends. I love everything. Start to finish. Including the DLCs. Up there is one of your favorite games out there. Can't stop thinking of its weapons and slower. Hope it's fun for you. 
That game has been out for 10 years, almost. I have not spoiled it for myself. I know very little, very, very little about Bloodborne. I know Ludwig. I know we fight a certain guy as the, the final main boss. And that insight can let you see stuff that's invisible. I have intended to play it for almost a decade. And I have intentionally not spoiled myself. Had I not listened to the music as much as I do, I wouldn't even know what I do know. Bloodborne is going to be awesome. But for now, Dark Souls 3. Yippee, 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 yippee. This game is so fucking good. I cannot wait to get into it. Still waiting patiently for that day. I can't fucking wait. All right, I'm firing the game up. I don't think you guys understand how fucking good this game is, but you will. When I said every, every, I'm, I'm just going to repeat, repeat the one line that I said, because the one line that I said perfectly encapsulates it's okay. Dark Souls 2, it's a good game. Why is it? There we go. Dark Souls 2 is a good game. But it is not a good Dark Souls sequel. Well, Dark Souls 3 is the perfect sequel. Dark Souls 3 is what Dark Souls 2 should have been. There's one boss that I feel emotional about. There's a couple. There's really good bosses in this game. Mm-hmm. The lore is so good, and everything connects to Dark Souls 1. Everything. So everything that you paid attention to in Dark Souls 1 is going to matter. This is going to be so good. Even just the title music, listen to this shit. Also, where Dark Souls 2 became very weirdly floaty. Hold on. As much as I want to play online, I don't. I want to play offline. All right, I'm gonna quit out and reopen it. Yeah, the end of Dark Souls. This is the last Dark Souls game. I know there are NPC invaders that can be blocked out by being invaded by actual people. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to miss out on any of the lore. I love this music. All right, let's make sure all the settings are good. Turn up the camera speed. Uh, voices can go up. Turn down the brightness. Where Dark Souls 2 got very strange looking. And it, like you can tell what kind of stylistically they were going for. Dark Souls 3 takes that crisp look of Demon Souls in Dark Souls 1 and perfects it. Not very many, yep. So here we go. Start this right. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades. And the Lords go without thrones. When the link of fire is threatened, the bell tolls. Unearthing the old lords of cinder from their graves. All 
Eldritch, Saint of the Deep. Farron's Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. Lord of the profaned capital. Yom the Giant. Only in truth, the Lords will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash seeketh embers. Oh. I love that intro so fucking much. There we go. Alright, now we get to choose our character. So, story is already a lot more connected to Dark Souls 1. Let me check, what are the stats needed to use the Moonlight Greatsword in Dark Souls 3? 16, 11, 26, okay. I could go Sorcerer. That's one too many points in Dexterity. I could go Pyromancer, that's a little high on faith. Let's just go with a classic tried and true knight. Got no reason to do anything crazy. Burial gift, life ring, divine blessing, hidden blessing, black fire bomb, young white branch. Uh, if I remember, none of these have any amazing use, unlike the other games. So we're just gonna go black fire bomb. Face presets. I'm gonna squinty, goofy ass face. <laughs> oh, that guy looks like he's had better days. Let's uh, standard. Let's change. Nah, gender's fine. Age. You make my character older. I can change my voice too. I'm doing the age voice just for the scream. It's so fucking good. All right, uh, I could just be ripped. Let's go. Where's hair? Hair. Dark Souls 3 does hair a lot better than Dark Souls 2 did. Albeit not by much. Hey look, it's the Leon hair! Holy shit, it's Leon Kenny Kennedy! Game over! I'm dying! Restar? <laughs> Uh, 
Re 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 restart. Re 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 restart. Yes, restart. You taste like raw eggs. Alright, I don't think we're gonna change much more than that. We're gonna be wearing a helmet the entire time. But as the voiceover said, Model has some tomboy energy. The custom character also looks cool. <laughs> Thanks. So. For some reason, the cycle of fire is threatened. Nobody is linking it. It's burning out and nothing is happening. As the abyss is growing in, the transitory lands are starting to blend together. And to save the fire from dying, the bell rings and calls back old lords. Boy toy, not tomboy, shut up. You're right, I did read it wrong. It's not dyslexic, writing it wrong would be dyslexic. Is it? I don't know. Anyways. The fire is fading, so the bell rings, and it brings old Lords of Cinder back. People who previously lit the fire in their age of fire. So now, there's a whole bunch of these old Lords who... Got the same ending we did in Dark Souls 1 and 2. In their lifetime and their age. But... None of them want to link the fire again. So now it's calling weak, frail, undead that failed to link the fire to try and link the fire. We are the last ditch effort, the last bottom of the barrel option to try and relink the flame. So let's do it. This game is so pretty. It's so pretty. This is the way a Souls game is supposed to look. And look at that, normal walk. Normal Dark Souls roll. Not the weird floaty shit. Let's go! It feels so good to be back. Okay. So this is the grave we came out of. Regular attack, yep. I already know all the controls, there's no point in any of this. Hi, Goober. The game is way too loud. Let me turn it down. There we go. Is that better, guys? Let me get into combat again. Let me know. Is that too loud? It is too loud, or it is way better? Turn it down just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, so no! It's Oscar! He died a second time! And he gave us the Estus Flask! We also now get Ashen Estus Flasks that heal our mana. See that, boys? Look in the top left. We got mana again. Demon Souls style mana once again. It feels good to be back. So now spells are going to be based off of my mana meter, not off of charges. And I can heal it as well. On top of that, we have a new mechanic. Well, previously, this button only parries when holding a weapon. I now get weapon arts. 
I, this weapon is a stance where I can do either an upper swing or a thrust. Let's clear out everything around here real quick. Crossbow lead! No. Can I kill this guy? That's the way I'm supposed to go, but there's a special guy over here. Turn back. What if I don't? Um, what are you gonna do? Oh, that's what's over here. I remember now. Oh, mama. Fireball. I did no damage. Big lizard. It's what happens with those tiny crystal lizards that we keep looting grow big. I'm not a wizard. Not a wizard at all. I'm doing a roly poly. Big chompy lad, trying to bite me. Frosty, he made crystals. Got him. Got a titanite scale. Hey, I, I actually beat the big crystal lizard! Let's fucking go. I was a little bit worried. I didn't remember how hard he is. Already the gameplay feels so much better than Dark Souls 2. It feels so much better. It's not even comparable. First big monster defeated. A giant crystal lizard. Alright, check out how fucking gorgeous this place is. Holy... The Erd Tree and the First Flame reminds you of the Celestial Engines in Gadbound's car rulebook. And both the Erd Tree and the First Flame acts like en Celestial Engines too. I haven't played Godbound. I know we talked about it before, but I haven't I haven't actually gotten to play it. Alright, there's some loot over here. Let's get it. Titanic shard tit Titanic Titanite. Ah. 
It's crossbow. Idiot. There's a little more loot over here still. Me likey loot. He almost hit me, but that's okay. This game actually staggers enemies when you hit them. Dark Souls 2. Oh my god, and when he hits my shield and I block it properly, he actually bounces off of it. Dark Souls 2. I fireball this guy. What's that time? Don't fall off the ledge. More firebombs. Alright guys. As with every Souls game, there's a tutorial. The tutorial area has a few normal monsters. Except Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 doesn't have a tutorial boss because it just didn't feel like being a proper Dark Souls game. Dark Souls 3, however, rectifies this error. So let's fight the first boss and start this game off on a fucking high note. Get out of the way. Hi, sir. Can I have that sword? Thanks. Do as much damage as I can. Do next Skundir. Oh, ouch! The shoulder checked me. Ouch! Healing's normal, too. Ugh. Ouch. Phase two! Fireball! Oh my god! Kill up! Uh, I can barely see anything! Got him! tutorial boss baby ember restored now like the tutorial or like the intro said we aren't human we aren't just standard undead anymore we are ash and instead of humanity we use embers to keep ourselves going mm. Also, a very important little bit of information. That dude had that sword stuck in him. I pulled the sword out. Look at the sword that's in the bonfire. This is the same sword that's in every bonfire in all the Souls games. And I just got it here. Coiled sword. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire. Cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. The sword is only bequeathed to chosen Ash as judged by the Udex who awaits the arrival of Ash as a scabbard. So his entire purpose is have the sword in you. When someone pulls it out, beat the shit out of them. If they lose, put it back in. If they win, they get to go. Now this place is pretty cool for a few reasons. This is our new hub. However, saying new is a little dishonest because technically this place isn't new at all. It's Firelink Shrine. 
This is Firelink Shrine before it rotted into almost nothing in Dark Souls 1. This is what it used to look like. Here's the bonfire. And here's our maiden. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. Hi. You're cute. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. Yes, you do. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Not the same as touching the demons, but Take it's pretty nourishment good. nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alrighty. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Thanks. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Okay. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Now, let's turn this bad boy back on. There we go. Alright. Now let's explore a little bit, shall we? It's our man! He's back! Well, a newcomer, I see. Hi, Andre. I'm Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. Yes. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. Okay. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Alright. So talking to him, we can reinforce this, this flask, and we can upgrade our equipment. I have Titanite Shards. But not enough. So I'm gonna have to get more. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large, but when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. True. Use a powder, or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure you. I love so, Andre so much. With care, if you would. He's such a bro. Pretty, right. be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. All right, and who are you? A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. Hey, she's one of the firekeepers from Dark Souls too. Handmade of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me, as is thy want. <laughs> so she is our merchant. We can buy a whole bunch of stuff from her. I'm gonna buy a sorcerer's staff for when my uh, stats get high enough to use it. And then I do want a halberd, but I'm good for right now. She sells embers, repair powder, good. Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> now, there is hidden loot in this area that I want to make sure I get to before we start. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. Gives me conniptions. Gives me conniptions. And have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. 
I don't plan on licking their boots, but all right. Don't you Thanks think? for the emote. <laughs> okay, so the loot. I gotta go back outside. First, I want to talk to this lad. Engravings. So we can see who all the Lord Descender we need to bring are. But there's also this little dude. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. Yes. I am Ludlith of Corland. Hi, Ludlith. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be linked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. Attaboy. Treat the firekeeper not with discourtesy. She is much like thee. Prisoners both kept to link the fire. Okay. I'll treat her very well. If I remember correctly, I can bow to her and she'll bow back. I can do other emotes too. I think if I do this... She laughs. I can make her laugh. If I wave at her. She bows. And then if I point at her, I think she... No, she doesn't do anything. Which emo is it that makes her... Looks around all shy. One of the emotes you can do will make her do a cute little twirl, but I don't remember which emote it is. Alright. How much do I need in order to get through this area up here? It's not blocked off. Huh. Alright, guys. Speedrun strat. Failed. Go again. I jump off the tree. Come on. Nope. Do it again. Nope. Do it again. Nope. Didn't angle it right. Hold on. There we go. Like that. Cool. Got it. Speed run strats, boys. I just cheated! Let's go! Alright, now if we come over here... There's a really good ring. Pickle, pea, and pump -a rum I always hated the names of these birds. Alright, where do I go from here to get what I... There's an invisible door, right? Yeah, there is. And over here... ...is the ring. The lighting is so much better in this game. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, baby. Starting the game off with bonus souls. Let's go. Alrighty. Now we're good to get started. So we need to find Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. The Watchers of the Abyss. Yorm, the Giant of the Profaned Capital. We already have Ludlith here. And Saint Aldrich of the Deep. 
But those are the lords that we need to go find and defeat. So we can now go to the high wall of Lothric. Ashen one, produce the coiled sword at the bottom. I already did. It carves a superior pasta. You like Carbonara? Thee to the land of the it looked lords. good. To Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Farewell, Ashen. May the flame. Alright, talk again. Ashen produced the tool. I already did. Farewell. I think she's just gonna keep saying it until I teleport. Alright, let's do it. To the first area. Now we're traveling between the barely existent lands that still remain. Gotta go find the old Lords of Cinder. Get their souls. I brought something for your hunger. Thanks. I brought you the good Dark Souls sequel. Cause God, this game is so fucking gorgeous and plays so nice. The people are turning into goddamn trees! This is clearly Dark Souls 2. Oh yeah, clearly you can tell by the better roll animation and the better attack animations and the better stamina recovery and the better looks and the better... I'm even doing it too. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Don't let him ring the bell. Stop! Okay, we're good. All of these motherfuckers will aggro on us if he gets that off. Oh god, it's California. <laughs> this is what they warned us about in Hotel California. Welcome to the hotel. That's what they're talking about. Is this? Look at all the chairs. These motherfuckers really liked just looking at this dead dragon, huh? Holy moly! I was scratching my head! I wasn't paying attention. It's not my fault. Got binoculars. Look at how fucking gorgeous this is. I love this game so much. This is- this is a- a real Souls sequel. The intro was so much better, made so much more sense. We're back to the old formula. Already there's been so much connecting the lore of this with the lore of Dark Souls 1. And look at that, guys. One tutorial boss in, which there is actually a tutorial boss. And we actually have direction. This isn't... Oh, um, you're just... You're, you're crazy and you're going hollow. You need to... You're here for a reason. You're here for a reason because you're hollow. Anyways, I'll tell you more when you kill two great old ones. Instead, we got actual direction. The linking of the fire is threatened. And the bell of Firelink Shrine tolled to bring the transitory lands converging together and bring back the old Lords of Cinder who previously linked the fire. Ouch. I missed you, Dark Souls 1 back then. But the Lords won't do it. The old Lords won't link the fire, so now it's bringing Ash, unfit to be Lords. Come on, hurry up, Finagro. This is the Dark Souls 1 reference right here. Finally, peak true. Dark Souls 1 reference! Run! Get out of the way, you psychopath!
That's what we're here to do. We're here to recolonize the land into something usable. If the old lords won't, we will. Do your fire breath attack down here again, buddy. There we go. Now run! Just like Dark Souls 1. Fuck. Made it. Well, that wasn't ideal. But we made it. I meant California. Back. Go on, fly away. Leave. Okay, he won't. I took a lot of damage. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. doing anything. Is he okay? Uh, yeah, the mim I know he can do- he, he fucking can do the fucking Jackie Chan flying crane kick. It's awesome when he does it. I watched my buddy get one shot by it back when I first played through this game. The fall damage can be annoying, but honestly, I'll take slightly annoying fall damage over all the rank shit that was in Dark Souls 2 any day of the year. Backstab! He blocked it! I could pair him. Not if I miss. Is the game too loud? Because the loud dragon is supposed to be loud. Nice try. But I know your tricks. Kinda? Okay. Well, tell me if it's still loud once you get past the dragon. Because I can always, like... Turn it down like that. I don't want the loud parts to make the quiet parts impossible for you guys to hear. Another Titanite Shard, nice. You motherfucker. Man. There's a few directions to go here. This is the right way. You can push slash pull blood ambers out of all the range. Yep. That's a tall lad! Got him. That's what's down here. I don't have the key for this. Not yet. That's alright. Items over here. 
Three fire bombs. Like in Demon Souls. When the fat guy threw the stuff. Good times. Mail breaker. You good man? He's locked. Both sides are locked. I've done a magic build on Dark Souls 3. I usually go strength dex. Yep, we're gonna be strength dex a little bit until we get the moonlight great sword. We're gonna start dipping into magic and then do like buff buffing my weapon with magic. The Moonlight Greatsword is kind of the same distance in the game as the Moonlight Greatsword is in Dark Souls 1. I have to defeat a certain enemy to get it, and said enemy is not at the start of the game, so. All right, I should just run past this area. Ouch! I should just run past this area, so I'm going to. Because I don't like fighting this guy. Now, even if I, for if I for gore, at least I told. Yeah. Uh, also, if you saw my post, only 10 people can be respawned by the tower per wave shock. So if you have 10 slugs getting one shot, uh, the mages never respawn. It, it spawns closest to farthest, so. Come over here, big knight guy. You're cool. We're talking about Arc Knights. The new Arc Knights event. Ouch. A lot is just, just like my ammo. Fucking be a meta. Going uh, skill 2 on Fiametta insta-kills the slugs. So, she's been being used in a lot of runs I've seen. There's that door where we got the mail breaker from. Holy! Is that ready for you? God, these controls. I cannot stress this enough. I haven't fought Katana Guy at Firelink yet, no. I actually kind of forgot about him. The Master. I cannot stress this enough. These controls after playing Dark Souls 2 are actually heavenly. It's like the game is making love to my hands. The controls feel so much more responsive. The invincibility frames actually make sense. Attacking isn't floaty and garbage. And enemies' attacks don't feel like they're intentionally designed to be dog shit just to justify bad l fucking stat allocation. This is so fucking nice. Dog? Come on, Doug. 
There's an item down there I want, and I don't remember what it is, but I want it. Plus, hitting enemies actually staggers them. And blocking enemies actually staggers them. Oh man, everything. This is this is the sequel that Dark Souls 1 deserved to have. Plus, even these enemies feel more like Dark Souls enemies than Dark Souls 2 did. Got the cell key, nice. That's what was down there. You would like to use via meta, if you know what I mean. I do know what you mean. I'm on the same fucking boat. Ouch! Bomba! He dropped down. The fool. He shall die for his folly. to backstab him. The, e the enemies are a bit more miserable. This is the start of the first area. In Dark Souls 1, the first enemies were literally a bunch of decrepit goons with a dragon above them. That's the way Dark Souls games are supposed to start. Dark Souls 2 enemies at the beginning were the same. They were just really floaty and bad hitboxes. Just some fucking goons gooning, what can I say? Alright, I'm not fighting this guy yet. He's like if you took the Black Knight from Dark Souls 1 and made him much harder. They were gooning on the bridge under the dragon. Yes, they were, exactly! See? The Angel Knights are such a cool monster, actually. Run! Go up, 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 up! I didn't mean to come over here. This loops back around to where we already were. I went the wrong way. I'll just let him de-aggro for a moment. Another thing Dark Souls 2 brings back is alternate pathways. I could have skipped that whole indoors area if I just went down this ladder when I was here last. attacking. He is. Alright, I'm going the other way. Also, look, no funny shimmy shake just trying to go up the ladder. This game's so good. It's so fucking good. There's an item over here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, please don't be a mimic. Okay, it's not. We're good. A star straight sword. Is that any good? Yay. Nope. I can't use it. it. Requires 12 faith. I am not leveling faith, even though part of me really wants to. Dark Souls 3 has the best faith uh, trainer in all the Souls games. She is a top tier waifu, and I love her. I simped so fucking hard for her back when I first played this game. That wasn't very nice. I forget, is there a guy over here defending this? Just run for it. Short cut. See ya. There's a guy defending up here. 
but that's okay. Shortcut, kind of. It's a shortcut back to the bonfire so that I don't have to go back through all of that. that last second. Can I make it? I can make it after I kill at least one dog. Alright, we good! We good! Ah! Ah! We good! We gooned. We successfully gooned. We're back to the bonfire. Doesn't matter if I die. The big dog. Okay. Let me sit. Let me sit. Who's oh, still aggroed on me? Oh, is it you? Wait, did I? If I cleared everything, I can just go through here, right? At one health in a dream? Do I risk it? Nah. I have souls I don't want to lose. Yep, big enemy, I remember. Alright, let's level up quick. We can also go upgrade our sword at Andre. Andre! My man! Ah, well, Matt, tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? This. Pretty be I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Ashen One. Thank you. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Okay. Take nourishment from these sovereign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me touch. I've already done the emoting her stuff. Second, you're behind, man. Farewell, Ashen Maid. You're behind. I've already emoted her. I've already gotten the covetous serpent ring. I already did the tree jump skip thing in order to get up to the top and talk to the birds. I've already done it. The only thing I haven't done is fight this dude because I forgot he exists. Did she spin though? Yes. She also bowed, she also giggled, she also looked away bashfully. Hi. This guy's actually pretty hard to kill. Because he can parry you. And he hurts. And he has seemingly unlimited fucking stamina. If I can parry him, we're golden. Why is he just walking at me? That's why he's trying to parry me. I literally said it out loud. I know that's fucking stamina, so I couldn't roll. He parried me! I'm- I didn't try to- I didn't attack. How do you kick in this game? I tried to kick him. Isn't it- is it not forward attack? Hold on, if I forward attack and it kicks, I'm gonna be pissed because that that robbed me. No, how? How do you kick? What's the kick button in Dark Souls 3? It's not the same. 
How do you do it? Does anyone know? How do you kick in Dark Souls 3? Click the stick forward and press R1. That's literally what I did. What? What? It's not doing it. There we go. No, it's not at the same time. It has a really bad delay on it. it, it that's a really weird delay you have to do. You have to like frame perfect delay in order to do it. Hey game, can I go through please? Game? I don't remember what makes the game do this. There's a way to fix it and I don't remember what it is. There's no way it's just time based, right? I don't understand this. Happens up at the top too. It just won't let you leave. For a little bit. There we go. Alright. Come on over and parry fish this, you fucking bastard. He will just parry fish that. Yeah, fuck off. You can knock him off, I was trying. Uh he had his back turned to me, that should have parry or should have backstabbed, but whatever. He doesn't give you anything useful. He gives you the master's attire. You can't even open this door. That's why I usually don't fight him until you can, but it is what it is. It's a little something something, I guess. I, at least it's not a monster that's using the skeleton and 3D model of an NPC, but is extremely unfair because he has 900,000 times more health, two shots you, doesn't have a stamina meter, input reads when you're healing, has one hit spells, unlimited casts of those one hit spells, and unlimited poison can't be staggered. Like in Dark Souls 2. There we go. That's like all the content to do right now until we are able to get farther. So, I can level up again, I guess. Aw, oh, she's sitting. It's so cute. Welcome home. Speak then. Very well. Then take me. I will take nourishment. Farewell, Ashen Wami. Cool. Well, we now have the cell. E. So we're gonna go quickly open that cell and let the dude out. And then we can continue because we're at the first bus. Let my brother go, he didn't do nothing. Went the wrong way. No, he didn't. The guy on my left. Let my brother go, he didn't do nothing wrong. 
Hey, dude. Ah. You no jailer, are you? Nope. No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Yes. Remarkable. Don't gotta remind me that I failed to link if the fire. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. Okay. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. <laughs> what do you say then? Sure. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Grey Rat is great. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. All right. Do your part, and I'll do mine. Thank you. See ya. Now he's going to go over to Firelink Shrine. I don't remember if the key I got opens this door too, does it? Nope. I kind of remembered that it wouldn't, but... Up, 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 up. I also, I love the boss we're about to fight. I love how despite him being the first open world boss that isn't part of the tutorial level, he has one of the most grandiose boss themes in the entire game and it's so much fun. I've seen it used in so many memes. Alright, let's go do it. We've got a boss to fight. Oh, face tracking broke. There we go. Fix the face tracking. Bye bye. See you, chump. Quick, start mewing before the fight for good luck. Woke up all the goons, the goon brigade. Some green blossoms. That was a partial parry. Sad. Alright, until I give her the ring, I can wear it, so I'm going to. I want to fight these knights one at a time. They're fairly strong, the Lothric knights. They're like fighting the Hyden knights in Dark Souls too. They have a lot of stats. They're not too hard to deal with when they're alone. Then they've got all their fucking gooners with them. They start teaming up on you. You start to have a harder time with them. Hello, Mr. Knight. Oh, aggressive today, huh? Farm them for their armor every time before moving on. Yeah, they're fucking cool. They've got awesome armor. Hey, I got the shield. The Lucerne. I love the Lucerne in Dark Souls 3. It's such a fun weapon. Yep, the blue one goes ham. 
I had my weapon two-handed so I couldn't block. See what I mean by these guys just goon? Holy shit, man. That fucking hurts. 13 hit combo chain. I don't want to pop too many heals before fighting the boss. Let's hope I don't have a hard time with this guy, because this dude, oh. He's harder. He has a lot more health. And he buffs up his weapon. Ouch. Thank God you just straight up missed. I'm almost dead. Oh, he's hard. I didn't remember what he dropped, so I did it. Can I kill the boss without heals? I don't know if I can. That guy's basically a mini boss. Hi, ma'am. Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Yeah? I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Hi, Emma. Allow me to speak frankly. Okay. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left. No. Gone. To their churning homes. I will not. Converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. Okay. Small Lothic banner. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Way of blue. Unkindled one. Go through the but yeah, I got it. I got it. Gotta go down to the gate. Plant the banner. Yes, ma'am. I am most likely going to die to this boss. I'm just warning you guys now. I missed. I missed twice. Come on. Oh, wait, you're not one of the big knights. You're just a normal goon. I gotta play safe around you. You're just a normal guy. Just a standard goober. I thought they were the Lothic knights. I'm gonna try and lure them one at a time. Okay, either way. Let's do it. First boss of Dark Souls 3, if you don't count the prologue. Big boy, Vort of the Boreal Valley, Fireball. I did no damage. Getting mad! 
Phase two. Ouch. Yeah, I need healing. Oh. This music just goes way too hard. Damn. Got him to half health real quick. Wish I had healing. I didn't ember before going in. I could have embered. Ah, oh, I'm a fool. A damned fool, I tell you. A damned fool. A damned fool. Wow, you perfectly timed that to hit me when I came out of my invincibility frames. That sucks. That's okay, it gives us a chance to hear that boss's theme a second time. Because it's that fucking cool. Hi, big boy. Let's go at it for a third time, even. I missed his head. I dealt incantation medic. I really doubt it. We've gotten so many of those lately. I lost because I didn't mute before fighting, huh? Chimpin! So cool. Don't frostbite me, please. His theme goes so fucking hard for no reason. for that. Got him. Oh. I love that fight. I love the bosses of this game so much. He's so cool. Plant the banner. I gotta sneeze. Okay, never mind. Dark Souls 1 reference. Technically, it's a Demon Souls reference. They did it first in Demon Souls. After the lost, or the false idol boss fight. Little bat boy is gonna fly me down. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.
bonfire lit. Oh, kitty. Buddy. You poor thing. Welcome home, I should speak thine heart's desire. Very Level well, up. then take no Touch the darkness within me. Yes, ma'am. As you wish. God damn. Jesus Christ. I have a problem. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Yes. Foot of the high wall. Yeah, you doing okay? Yeah, lay down, buddy. I know. You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. Alrighty. I love this game. Oh god, he sent out the hounds! They sent out the hounds to kill the people! Bastards. Aren't there also a dog hiding over here? Two dogs. NPC time. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackle. <laughs> oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. Yes. To be in your presence is a great honor. Thanks. I am Yoel of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. He was once a sorcerer. Ooh. Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. Imagine what do you mean? Imagine I, the head. He's just wearing head wraps. Door, do solemnly swear myself to you. That's still just a dude. <laughs> Bone. <laughs> you can't just say that. If you say so. Good job, guy. You managed to survive the dogs. You did too. Oh god, I can't believe it. That guy killed everybody with his dogs. I must avenge them. Get back here, you little shit. You stop running away from me right now. Right this instant. Perfect. Did you know that... So, this model for this building right here is used like nine times in Elden Ring. It. This is the shack. This is the same model for the shacks.
I was kind of baffled when I first found that out. I was baffled because I didn't notice. Little Goober. That's some rubbish. Man, I wish I had my old Dark Souls 3 PvP videos, because I had a video I made in this area where I was doing low level invasions with the demon axe. I love that video. I had another video with the Zweihander. In this area. I love the look. Of this fucking game, man. Loretta's bone. Old, discolored human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse in the undead settlement was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. Well, Loretta's dead. I can't give her the ring. Hi, lady. Well, she's dead. That was unnerving. Recently watch how the Moon Knight sword spell actually looks and all these shit that they cook with that one. Oh, Moonlight? That's what you're talking about? The old Moonlight spell? <laughs> The demon- are, are you talking about the Kingsfield reference that you get from Dark Eater- Dark Eater Madeir? In the DLC? Cause it's still hell yeah. Yeah, it's so good. I told you! Even the Moonlight Greatsword in this game is not the true Moonlight Greatsword reference. Like, the Moonlight Greatsword has transformed from what it was in Kingsfield. All the way into what it is now in Elden Ring, where it's not even the same name, damage type, affinity. Like, it's only similar in rough shape. That's why I want a more true Moonlight Sword in, Dark S in, in the Elden Ring DLC. Or even just another spell like that. Because, you're right, they were fucking cooking. Old Moonlight is such a cool spell. One of these things. Not friendly.
warrior of sunlight metal. Drink the Estus soup. Heal myself up. Anything else in here? Is it just the sunlight metal? Or the sunlight metal? I think it was. If I go back this way though. Comes back up. And this all loops around one way or another, but I think there's extra loot over here, so I'm going this way instead. PS3, what's next gonna go for Elden Ring? I'm gonna wait by the PS5 for Bloodborne. I'm gonna do Bloodborne. Bloodborne is next after this. Hopefully I will have a PlayStation 3 in time. Or PlayStation 3, PlayStation 5 in time. I should. If by some freak event I don't, we are going to play Enchanted Arms, which is an Xbox game. For 30 FPS, yep. I don't mind 30 FPS. I used to play on a shitter on a shitter rig. Everything used to be 30 FPS. I'm not one of the people like I've I've only had a top end computer for a little bit, and I'm gonna be 100% honest. I really don't see the difference between like 30 and 60 FPS. The difference is not that crazy. And a shield. I know you like this. I played Sekiro, dude. I know how to play a game without a shield. I like shields, yes. But I also know Bloodborne is a dodge game. It's not a block game. It's also a very strange and weird dodge mechanic where you like do those quick steps. Whip! You know how to play with gun? Nope, I've never played Bloodborne. Why would I know how to play with the gun? <laughs> I'll, I'll learn. I'll learn when we get to it. Don't worry. I know, like, if you time it right, you can stagger and get, uh, like, basically, parry reposts. If you time it right, you just gotta time it correctly. I don't know what the timing is on it, though, so... Shard. Very creepy. Not that bad. Just shot someone mid animation. That's it. I figured it was something like that. But I've also seen people play where they just spam the gun. Like, there was a video I watched. I, I have not watched spoilers for the game because I don't want to spoil the game for myself. But there was a video I watched where it was talking about someone who was critiquing the game. Mad Dark Spirit Holy Knight Hodrick. I remember this guy. This guy's part of a really cool covenant. I loved this covenant. Covenants like this make me want covenants in Elden Ring. I'm gonna light the bonfire quick. There he is. Part of the mound maker. He has poise and I don't. Uh, the guy was complaining about Dark Soul, or about Bloodborne. Because he was, in, in, in his footage, he was shooting an, an enemy and it was just some trash enemy. And the guy wasn't getting staggered. And he was like, this game literally doesn't fucking work. Like, I shoot the enemies and they don't get staggered. Like, it's unplayable. I don't know how anyone can defend this. And then he goes on to complain about like 37 different things. 
And uh, the guy who was uh, watching his video uh, then proceeded to Got him. Then proceeded to show that he wasn't timing his shit at all. But the guy like doubled down and got into a bunch of controversy because he started like insulting people with like racist remarks and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, he just parried me twice. Game? That's an annoying NPC. I'm gonna use his warmth that he cast to heal. Wait, you miss? I'm fighting this goober. I'm parrying this shit properly and it's not fucking giving it to me. I'm parrying that shit perfectly. That is proper parrying, and I am only getting partial parries. Even there, it's still partial parried. Oh my fucking god, now I got this guy on my ass. Get out of here, hippie. No one wants you. The timing for the repost stuff in Bloodborne. That's what I've heard is that it's not that bad. Hey, when I hit the parry button and I have parry frames and his attack hits me during those parry frames, it'd be really nice if he got parried. Even the fucking random monsters getting healed by his form. And I just got turf comboed. Why did the guy with the axe get aggroed on me? Why did he get aggroed? He's supposed to be way the fuck over there minding his own goddamn business. I'm still gonna kill Hodrick. I just gotta take care of this motherfucker first. Excuse me? There we go. Alright. Invade me, you fucking cunt. Okay, I'm I'm pressing the parry button and it just isn't doing it. I'm holding the block button and it just isn't blocking. What is going on? And he parried me. It, when he parries the exact same frames I do, he gets it. And he parried me. Dead. So annoying. But I'll get him. I need levels. I need an actual weapon. He got cooked. Yeah, the bot automatically parrying really cooked me.
Also, I'm a fucking idiot. You can't parry. You can parry that? I was always told you can't. Any of the shield break attacks can't be parried. That's what I was always told. I don't... I don't get it. I must just be misremembering that then because I was always told that you can't that you can't parry so the way that stance works is you get two attacks um, one breaks a foe's guard and the other slashes from a lunge I was always told that weapons that break a foe's or attacks that break a foe's guard can't be parried because parrying technically counts as a block frame and it will stagger them out of it I guess that was just wrong information. So, I should have been trying to parry it. I guess. Because it, it's really slow and choreographed, so I only didn't parry it because I Welcome tried to parry and it speak. just broke my guard. Very well, then take no but apparently it works for him, so... Farewell, Ashen One. May the flip. Alright, let's grab. Sorcerer's Staff is our buddy here now. He said he's a sorcerer. Will he sell me spells? Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. Okay. Yeah, he sells spells. Please. Most importantly, he spells oh. the magic weapon, or er, spells, sells the magic weapon buff, which I don't have Easy. enough spells for. Now I do. Oh. Yep. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. Bye. The pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Then shall we begin, bearer of the dark sight? Okay, I'm not gonna do this. Be safe, champion of Ash. This is an optional quest line with a very interesting twist, but I don't think I want that ending. So what he can do is he gives you free levels. And after a certain amount of free levels, his quest line continues. I don't remember what the drawback to having the free levels is, though. Either way. Oh, hello, you're back and in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> 
All right, sorry, buddy, but Loretta, she didn't make it. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring. As thanks. Well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. Thank you. You're the best, man. So what all does he sell? He has a lot of weapons. He has some armor. Goodbye. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> good question. Andre, upgrade my flasks. Ah, just good to see what needs. Pretty be careful. <laughs> Alright, I just doubled my flasks. I now have six flasks. I don't have any sublime bone dust though. So, let's continue. And like Elden Ring, you can dedicate certain... Like, you can choose how many blue and orange Estus Flasks you have. The orange ones heal you, the blue ones heal your mana. I didn't put the spell on my... Hey, I got the Great Machete. I didn't put the spell on my spell list. I'm an idiot. Can I even? I have one attunement slot. I can. Good. I can cast it. Let's do it, shall we? I see how much of a damage boost it is. That's a pretty substantial damage boost. God, that's pretty substantial. Nice. This area is weird. I don't remember exactly how this guy works. I think if I remember correctly, as long as there's enemies here, I won't be the one targeted. Yep. By the archer up there on that tower. Hi, Terran! We're playing Dark Souls 3. Player Carver. Ow! Ouch! really annoying. <sighs> now you get to see a good Souls game. The good Dark Souls sequel. So I don't know if you're at all accustomed with the lore of this game. But basically, for some reason, the cycle of fire and dark is threatened. And a bell has tolled in Firelink Shrine to awaken the un- er, to- oh! Oops. A bell has tolled I know nothing about Dark Souls 2 except Link the Fire Ending is implied to accomplish nothing at all. So... Here. I can show you our hub. 
bunny fall. I knew there was a hole, but I thought it was on the left side, because I saw the path on the right side, and I thought I was good. We're back in Firelink Shrine from Dark Souls 1, but now... It's not so worn down and scrappy. We got a few people here. A very pretty firekeeper. One of the old hags from Dark Souls 2. Andre from Dark Souls 1 to smith our weapons, and a bunch of other people. Basically, at the top of this shrine is a bell. And when the link, when, when the cycle of fire is threatened, and the fire is fading, but nobody is lighting it, the bell rings and brings back all the Lords of Cinder in order to relight the fire. And that's what the, uh... That's what the five thrones that we see sitting here in Firelink Shrine are. These are the thrones of the Lords of Cinder, who were brought together. Those five thrones there were brought together to relink the fire. But for some reason, they won't. They just won't. So the bell rings again. This time, instead of bringing back old Lords of Cinder, people who have previously lit the fire, it has brought back undead who failed. Unkindled ash is what we're referred to. We are one of those. In a desperate attempt for us to go claim the souls of the lords that previously started Ages of Fire and fix it all by lighting the fire again and starting a new Age of Fire. So we've got Yorm the Giant, the Abyss Watchers, the Farron Legion, Prince Lothric, that guy who's already here and he's friendly, and Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, whom they showed in the beginning animation. We've only just gotten started though. We've only fought in one boss outside of the tutorial. Playing as a previous game's... Yep, we're playing as a previous game's um, protagonist that failed on our way to beat previous game protagonists that won. All the lords that we're gonna be fighting are people who previously succeeded. They linked their flame. But god, already, like, the controls of this game make Dark Souls 2 look like a joke. It's so good. The rolling's better again. The combat's better, the stamina's better. This is what the sequel, and this game is going to have a ton of lore from Dark Souls 1 involved in it, and I mean a fucking ton. I did bone shard. I knew I wanted that. Shoot him, giant archer. Thank you. I shoot these motherfuckers. Alright, I got all the lore, or all the loot from that area. Chopper versus not Oscar. Hey, we got the Estus flask from Oscar's corpse. He died again. He was brought back by the bell and died again at the very beginning in the graveyard. He was laying dead against what looked to be a, a just a big, weird Lord Vessel looking thing. Not Skr, true. Now, this is technically the way to go, and there's a shortcut down there if we do go here. You don't remember this area at all, really. It's the beginning of the game, but first we have a boss to fight. Boss number three, technically. Boss number two, if you don't count the tutorial. Boss. Never mind, now I remember. Yeah, you remember now?
There's the boss. Stop it. Grabby. Hit his balls. Gotta pop his fucking weird ass pimples is what I gotta do. Poison. You remember this boss, yeah? He's memorable. That's for goddamn sure. Pop his pimples. The sword. Ah! It's got an arm. Ah, the big boy. But we came here for the transposing kiln. This is an optional boss. That item will let us turn boss souls into boss weapons. This is also the location of, in my opinion, mechanically, one of the coolest covenants of any souls game. So this is the covenant of the mud uh, the mound makers I think they're called they're purple phantoms instead of red that you can summon into your world they can hurt you but they can hurt enemies too and it's their choice to try to kill you or help you get to the boss if they help you get to the boss successfully it counts as a win and they get a, ver a vertebrae sh shackle but if they kill you, it counts as a win and they get a vertebrae shackle. It's literally just being insane, the covenant. And it's really cool. I like that a lot. I think that's such a cool mechanic. I wish there was stuff like that in, in Elden Ring. That's why I want covenants in Elden Ring so bad. All right, we got a shortcut to go open. What if I get them to the boss and then backstab them? It counts as a win. That's the thing. They could do that. If you summoned a mound maker, it's just RNG as the it, it's random chance. Depends on if the mound maker themselves wants you to be dead. And if the mound maker decides to backstab you at the very end, they can. It's their right completely in line with what the covenant covenant demands cannonball no exactly you could just choose to be a dick after they trust you or they might summon you and then immediately try to kill you because they don't trust you and they want pvp like it's so fun does that count as two no 
they have to walk through the fog gate to the boss in order for you to get the vertebrae shack vertebra shackle. And was if they walk through to the boss, you despawn. You can't go in to help them kill the boss. You can help them get to the boss. Your funny grab. They hurt. Never mind. She just didn't feel like doing it. Alright, that's fine with me. Normally, you wait for her to do her grab and then you punish her for it. Guy's a big pot. <laughs> Guys, you know what? Emote to spam. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats. I can pop heals because this is a shortcut. So I'm not worried about it. Rats! It's the giant rat that makes all the rules! The giant rat that makes all the rules is dead. That was quick. Alright. Now we're on the other side of this bridge. That was the shortcut. We're also now about to go through an area backwards. Because I want the NPC in it. There's, like I said, Dark Souls 3 did a great job at making it so you choose your path. There's three ways to get to where I am right now. Total. We went one of them. We side cleared another one. Now we're going to go backwards through the third one. To unlock an NPC up here. Russian grandmother. Yeah. I want to get up there because that's where the NPC is, but I'm going to open this first. It doesn't open from the side. Okay, that's fine. I can still get to the NPC and the bonfire. Hear that fireball blow up and then immediately get cut off. There's a lot of NPCs in this starting area, by the way. We've already unlocked, what, two of them? We're about to unlock a third, and there's like three others still.
before we even get to the next boss. The worker's garb, a t-shirt. This name brand? All right, hello NPC. Aha, unkindled are we? Yes. Welcome to my abode. Thanks. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. Holy shit, he's Cornix, an old pyromancer. cage, as you see now. But here we are, an encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Yes. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Sure. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> bye bye. Now, if you come back here, I think if I actually reload the game, his items will. Th there's items in his cage. If I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Okay, I was wrong. But you know, yep, there. How we were getting shot at by giant spears. There's a dude with a great bow up there. Raining hell down upon us. Jesus, chill out. Felt like half the time I could dodge, half the time I couldn't. Let's see if I can remember how to get to the hidden NPC over here. Dicey. I would have been dead by now. In Dark Souls 2, you can stagger enemies, and you can dodge, and you have invincibility frames. In Dark Souls 2, enemies, yeah, attacks are so fluid. Combat is so fluid. Like, it's night and fucking day. And you don't lose seven eighths of your health for being touched by the tiniest little piece of shit. That's why I fucking hate artificial difficulty. This, I have to fucking time my shit and dodge the attacks and figure out when to go in and stuff. I'm not doing too good of a jab at it. I don't like fighting these big guys, but like they're not bad enemies. It's fun. It's night and day. Dark Souls 3 is the sequel Dark Souls 2 should have always been. It's the sequel Dark Souls 1 deserves. And I'm so glad that it it happened. It's such a great game. It, I have not complained about the controls once, except for the fact that the kick was annoying. Because kicking in this game is real weird. I was able to do it accurately there. Alright, hi. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Yes. All you faceless undead. Behaving as if you deserve respect. Be nice to me. Mm, no matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. 
If like I think I've others, done pretty good. You're fool enough to play the champion. Then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. You Enough always kill that guy. To leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> you can kill him to do the quest line, but you can also do this. the proper way to get down there again. Can I survive this drop? Or do I have to go over here? I I got caught between two rocks at an angle so the game thought I was falling <laughs> so it treated me as if I had been falling for a solid like eight seconds so I when I did start falling I fell really fast <laughs> Fucking great. God, that was awesome. Alright, well, let's see if I can make this and survive. I don't think I can. There's a way to get down there, and I don't remember what it is. Does it have something to do with this? Is there a hidden door? There is! Like, look at that. If this was Dark Souls 2, I wouldn't have landed those hits. Oh, but it's locked. I can't go down there yet. Alright, never mind. I'm wasting my time. I'll come back when I have the key. If you go in through that door, you can come up behind the Morn Knight. And free his maiden that way and then he'll be all like oh, I have to accompany the maiden even if I don't want her doing this business Dodging is, the attacking is, everything is so much better in this game. Healing is super fast, like it should be. Because what, what we want to do is we want to... Unlock this chick. That lady back there. She is easily one of the best waifus of Dark Souls 3. I loved her in my first playthrough. She is the only reason my first playthrough was a faith build. You like poking around in cells, do you? <laughs> How very genteel. <laughs> ah. Taking an interest in her, if you. Which is a lost cause. Couldn't even become a firekeeper. After I brought her all this way and got her all ready. She's beyond repair, I tell you. I can fix her. The woman's a lot. Couldn't he? She's beyond. <laughs> so he's gonna sit here like this until I unlock her. I gotta find the key. I don't remember where the key was. But I'm sure I'll come across it. Notice how that goes up. Hmm. 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 Oh. 
Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegvert of Katarina. It's close. He's not Siegwald, honest, he's Siegward. I'm in a bit of a pickle. He's different. Have you ever <laughs> walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Yes, I have. Hi, well, Apple and Hydeon. If I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Yeah. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. He's such a this bro. I love Siegward so down, much. You see, and, uh, yeah, the lift only goes down. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Well, I can fix all your problems right here, right now. I am glad you. <laughs> now, once this happens, he's going to see there's a second lift that goes up. And he's going to go, oh, and he's going to ride it. And our onion boy will be happy. I will continue to seek light line. <laughs> There's a very real chance that he's some descendant of of, of Sieg Siegmeier. Because he named his daughter Siegland, right? So Siegwald, or Z Siegward. Sieg, I don't... <laughs> 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 As we zoom past, I love him so much. Hey, big guy, were you shooting at me? Who are you? I help anytime. Yeah, you're my friend. Cool. I help anytime. So now that I'm friends with him, he won't shoot at me anymore. Anytime I'm in an area that he can shoot at, he'll help me instead of shooting at me. I help any time. He's secret, he's secret. Hmm. There's the spot I have to pop up. Squidward! Are there any secrets I should know of? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you can hear him every time you zoom past. Hi, buddy. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You have me downright worried. Mm. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. You're welcome. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Gary sliding in. Hmm. On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. We rolled off. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? The big boy? Yeah. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. Finally, a real Dark Souls oh, demon. Now. Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. Get it? Because he's I've a big hot demon. I've got to use my head and think. All right, Pooh. Hmm. Hmm. I right. could try. So, this is just like. Siegwald in Dark Souls 1 where he's gonna get stuck and we gotta help him. Unlike Siegwald in Dark Souls 1, we're gonna help him in the coolest way possible. No. Have waited. Of course not. It's too late now. Yumina, fight by your side. Fight by my side. Ah! Ouch. He 
jumps down and helps. Have a good night, Keg. Good jumping attack. But look, guys, an actual real demon. Got him. <laughs> Bro sits down. Ah, look at him. <sighs> that was quite a performance. Yes, it was. But you mustn't get in over your head. I knew you'd help me out, buddy. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Yes, we do. We <laughs> get some Sieg brew. Valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. Yeah. <laughs> and then he drinks. <clears throat> Let me get the toast steam out now. So now we get some Sieg brew. Restores HP and boosts frost resistance. Special brew of Siegward of Katarina. Perfect for travel in his Jolly Barrel mug. Restores HP and temporarily boosts frost resistance. Leave it to Siegward to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead have him left have left him wanting to drain a cup or two and revel as if he were still among the living. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. I want a Jolly the Barrel thing to mug do, too. Really after a nice toast. True. Have a good nap, buddy. <laughs> Bro just knocks the fuck out instantly. <laughs> I love this game. Everything about it is so fucking perfect. I'm smiling like a fucking kid. Got a large club, a bonker. There's another item over here, but I don't remember what it is, so I'm gonna go get it. God, I love Secret so much. He's so good. Jumps down to help you fight a demon hand in hand, gives you a drink, offers a toast. Falls the fuck to sleep. Hey, you take damage from my sword. Ow! Also, there's a lot of people turning into trees. All over the place. The tree's knees is not a mimic. Dark Souls 2, that would have killed me 100%. There's two of them! I do not remember there being two of them. I gonna do what all good video gamers do in a situation like this. Um, yippee, 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 yippee. Give me my loot. Wind's ring, nice. Now this gives me uh, increased attack the lower my equip load is. But sadly, with my armor, my equip load is already high enough that it doesn't work, so. 
Now we take our path over here. This is gonna lead us over some stuff in here, but isn't there other stuff on the outside still? Yeah. Homeward bone. This is bringing us back to the, um... Daring contest leave them be true. Yeah, you're, you're right. They were locked in a battle of vision. And it would have been rude of me to interrupt. Got the Mira armor from Dark Souls 2. And the Chloranthi ring. That's the ring I wanted. I might as well also take the Bloodbite ring. There's no reason not to, I guess. Any other loot over here? This whole area and Siegward are optional. You can completely miss it. Imagine going through this game without getting the meat Siegward of Katarina. Truly really a fate worse than death. I'm speed. Alright, now we're back here. Where I fell down that hole and died like a fool. Dark Souls 2 mod. Wouldn't it be better to make a Dark Souls 3 mod that's a Dark Souls 2 total conversion? You mean turning Dark Souls 2 into Dark Souls 3? Yeah, that's kind of what would happen if I wanted to turn Dark Souls 2 into a good sequel for Dark Souls. The other way around? Why would I turn Dark Souls 3 into the bad game? <laughs> why, why would I put Dark Souls 2's roles and mechanics into Dark Souls 3 to ruin it? Why would I do that? <laughs> I, I might die to this guy. He's actually hard. Top off my mana. Buff up my sword. Remaking. that That's what I meant. I guess I didn't word it very well. Yeah, taking Dark Souls 3's rolls and mechanics. That's... Shit. These guys are so cool. I actually killed him. Oh, I actually killed him. I would have been dead second hit if this was Dark Souls 2. Just because of how overinflated the numbers are. Okay, lore. So I didn't read this. Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. That's the first boss we fought. Soul of Vort of the Boreal Valley, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Vort served as an outrider knight, never far from the fleeting dancer. And Soul of the Rotted Greatwood. Ever since its establishment, all manner of curses have managed to seep into the undead settlement. The worst of them were sealed away inside a spirit tree, but eventually the curses took their toll. And then we got the Irithyll Straight Sword. Straight sword bestowed upon the Outrider Knights of the Boreal Valley. This weapon is enshrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every Outrider Knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. It's been awesome to see the start of Dark Souls 3 through you, Phantom. Getting pretty sleepy, so going to head to bed. Sounds good. Thank you for hanging out. You have a good night, Jordy. Nice seeing you hanging out again. So there's some crazy shit going on with the Boreal Valley. These knights are turning into beasts because of Pontiff Sullivan's black eyes. Alright, let's go level up. We're getting really close to one of my favorite bosses. Which is something so fun to say this early in a playthrough. Welcome home, I shall speak thine own. Very well, then tut hake not. Farewell, Ashen. Let me look something up. Best girl right there. I, I do kind of got to agree with you, all right? The, the fire... This lady right here, she's like the maiden in black, but blonde. 
and more soft-spoken. They're very similar, down to their voice lines. It's hard to pick a favorite between the two, although I do like the Maiden in Black's body wraps a little bit more than the dress. Just saying. All right. I wanted to make sure Tangi is working. We're good. I don't remember where we get the key to save Irina, though. The the maiden girl. Ah, tis good to see you. What needs smithing this day? Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> Can he already infuse my weapon? Ah, is good, he? With fire, raw, or refined. Damn. Pretty, I don't want. Because <laughs> I want to save her before going to the next oh, area. How? Is that it? Uh, no, that's not the right key. It's not the right key. Tower key. That's the tower in the back of the spot, right? Isn't it? Hmm. So, I want it, but that's not the right thing. I shouldn't want one. I know it's somewhere. I I know it. I. I don't want to spend too much time dilly-dallying around here, though, because I do want to move on. We're about to fight some really cool bosses and one of my favorite arcs in a, a video game ever. Dude, was it not over here? I swear the key was over here. I thought I grabbed everything, didn't I? My archer is now my friend, so he's gonna help me out real quick. What a bro. He won't shoot me anymore. I thought the key was over here, but all I found was the clear- Oh, is that the key? Did I actually just miss it? No, it's just ashes. I thought for sure it was right here. Wait. Can't you give ashes to the Shrine Maiden? To unlock more stuff? Do you buy it from the Shrine Maiden? The Dark Souls 2 lady? Let me check. Because I want to bring all the NPCs over. Because she has something kind of cool about her. And Bones never seen what happens if you don't kill her guard. And you just let her free, even though he's saying she's useless. How? Yeah. How? Yeah, give it ash. Gracious. Pass let the I only. <laughs> there we go. Grave key. Got it. Ashen. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Let's go get her, and then we can move on to the swamp. Swampy, swampy, swampy boy, swampy time. Home of some of my favorite bosses and a really cool area. This opens this door, right? Please say yes. Nice. Alright. Oop. 
loincloth. Oh, thank God. I get tattered underwear. And a halberd. Hope these skeletons come to life. Yeah, there we go. I, I cannot overstate just how happy I am with the fluid, well-designed, upgraded Dark Souls 1 controls that Dark Souls 3 has, man. This feels so fucking good to play. Oh, look at that. I was allowed to hit the fucking guy. Ouch! Bro, Poncho jumped on me. My lord. No chill. Alright. Here's the path. Then be snoozing? Probably. She do get kind of sleepy. Talisman, nice. And now we're at Irina. I think that's her name. It's either Irina or Irene, I don't remember. Now. Best girl. Uh, who is that? Someone there? Anyone? I'm here. Oh, please. Whoever you are, touch me. Damn. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. At the prayer you might. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. Got it right. Nice. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Sure. Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. There we go. Now she's back at the shop. In her guard. You've gone and rescued her, have you? Yes. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah. Very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I am Egon, a knight of Karim. I, Egon. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety, and only for that long. All right. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety, and only for that long. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. There we go. 
We have unlocked all of the NPCs. So now we can progress. Oh, kitty, you're such a good boy. Yeah, you are. You're so good. I love you. I don't think this Outrider Knight responds, does he? Nah, the Outrider Knights don't respond. Cool. Alright. We continue now. We got all the NPCs. He goes on a killing spree and kills her back at base. Then the guard turns on. No. Not quite. It's different, but you're not too far off. Ow. Munchy. I think that's what happened on your run. Maybe I just dealt with whoever goes on a killing spree. I don't remember there being a guy who went on a killing spree in my first run. I gotta pop an ember here. This is an invader. I wanna fight him. Alright, kill the Corvians. A poopy, mi a poopy mist caster. He's casting a special poopy mist. Kill him. All right, we're good. I got a staff first try. Nice. There you are. Why do I remember you being an invader? That wasn't an invader at all. It was just a mostly naked woman. Nice. Got the Brigand Twin Daggers. This is the game when they started bringing in twin weapons. And Dark Souls 3's twin weapons were cool. The twin great swords and the twin scythes and the drang twin hammers are some of my favorite weapon designs in this game. I've been wanting twin scythes on Elden Ring. Sadly, there just aren't any. And power stancing two sides does not give off even close to the same kind of moveset that the twin sides have in Dark Souls 3. It is such a unique moveset and it is so cool. I was looking forward to seeing what kind of cool twin sides they added in the game for the longest time. But there wasn't any. I haven't caught pouring carbonara sauce onto rice. I mean, why wouldn't you? will be executed at sundown if you say so. It's technically still pasta. Anything that can work with pasta can work with rice. More NPCs. Oh 
Oh, hello. How do you do? Pretty good. I am Anri of Astora, unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? Yes. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the Crucifixion Woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the Undead Legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the Cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. True. May the flames guide your way. <laughs> Thanks, Henry. That's how I feel, dude. Oh, yes. He's not very talkative, but don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. A fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Beyond the flood, we make the next minute. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're gonna go fight Aldrich in the Cathedral of the Deep. Very ominous. Now, there's a lot of stuff down here. And I'm gonna see if I can remember how to get it all. A little poison grubby friends from Dark Souls too. Whoa! I forgot about you. Forgot about those guys. Got it. Bro, it's loud. Alright, there's stuff over here that I want. That's right. I remember now. Hi, Chief. A black knight from Dark Souls 1. Partial parried. Ouch, he hurts so much. He hurts so fucking much. I know he hurts for a reason. He drops a lot of souls and he has a really good item down there if I remember correctly. But god, man, half of my health per hit. Even for a Black Knight, that's kind of nuts. He is the great sword Black Knight, though. A great sword black knight hurts. I thought I timed that parry perfectly, but I guess I didn't. The game decided I didn't. Kill the Black Knight. I'm getting nothing but partial parries in this.
at him. He didn't drop the sword, Sedge. Oh well. Give me the good items. I don't even remember what's over here. Sell sword armor. What's over here that I remember being so useful? Sell sword twin blades. Was it the twin blades? Baron Cole. There we go. That's gonna be nice. Weapon upgrades, baby. Alright, now we clear through the swamp. That fight went a lot better. You survived the best ever? Holy shit. I think there's an invader over here. The want to be embered up. Ow. get poison, that's for sure. I don't have anything to get rid of poison. Oh well. I guess I just tanked the damage, huh? Army of mushroom men! Twin dragon great shield. That backstab is nice and quick, like it should be, like it was in Dark Souls fucking 1. It still has the... the verification attack like in Dark Souls 2. But it's not some stupid, shitty little over-the-shoulder jab that misses 95% of the time. Or hits them in the mouth and then doesn't backstab them, it's the startup frames. Which is how it should be. The fact that it was ever anything different is fucking ridiculous. Here's the invader. This is a mad phantom. Will you still summon it? Yes. Let's see, will he fight me or will he friend? Hi, Hodrick. He's not friend. Youchers. Can I kill him? I'm not even sure I can. Parried me. Nah, I can't. I'm too low. Level. Damn. Too low level. My only hope was to keep him stunlocked while he had his pyromancy flame out. I can upgrade my weapon more, I think. I think I have enough now. Nine Titanite shards, yeah. I can go upgrade my weapon again. He's rough. He's hard to beat. Oh! Another waifu has arrived. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Cirrus of the Sunless Realms, former servant of the Divinity. 
duties we each bear. But one's duty is a solitary affair. I doubt we've much to gain from fraternization. Oh, I think we have much to gain from fraternization. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Thanks. What needs smithing? Your mama. <laughs> I'm gonna be upgrading. I think I should just go raw. Should I go raw or fire? Can I buff a fire sword? I can't. Raw is pretty. If I can buff a raw sword. So now I have 272 damage. It's an upgrade, albeit not by much. This boss is pretty cool, if I remember him correctly. It's all that's going on through your head right now. Well, that's a you problem. <laughs> this boss is a teleporting spellcaster boss done right. It's like if Pinwheel was good. Ouch. That was a bit rude. There's a bonfire over there. I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, there's something over here. There's supposed to be something. This area is pretty cool. Hi, big boy! Got him. Get an ember. An Estus shard. Go on, fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Okay. He fell down. Backstab. Right up the ass. Alright. Let's cross the water, shall we? See a familiar foe. Okay, it didn't spawn. We're good. I gotta go over there. Warriors slumber ahead. But I go over there after this boss, I think. Or is the boss not here? Crystal down. Ooh.
took a lot of damage for that. See how much, like, it, it's, it's undescribable just how much better the combat is in this game. It is, is baffling. It is absolutely insane. Just how much better everything in this game flows and works than in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> It's like a completely different game. Because it is a completely different game. This is a Souls sequel. That was a Souls like. Hi. Well, this is unexpected. I, what do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. Yeah, Very I want well. to learn magic. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. Then teach me. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Okay. Well, can you assure me of this? Yes. Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck. Hi, Orbeck. Vinheim. Unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. Thanks. See you at Firelink. Yay, magic! If I could get greater magic weapon, that'd be huge. Blue bug palette. Buff up. Decent amount of enemies down here. Here we go. It's boss time. I love this boss's theme. I love this boss's fight. And I don't know if I'm going to lose or not. But let's find out. Because he's a cool boss. The Crystal Sage. Where is he? Where is he? There's one. It's the real one. As much damage as I can. That's the real one, but I gotta kill his friends before they get to be too many. Oh shit, there's so many of them now, because I went to the real one. Ouch! Oh. Pretty sure the purple one is the real one. Break his friend. Got him. Oh. Soul of a Crystal Sage. Is she using the spell you were using last game? Yeah, they were using spells. They're, they're a mage like here. Let me just read the soul. 
Soul of a crystal sage, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. The twin crystal sages once served as spiritual guides to the scholars of the Grand Archives, and one went on to ally with the Undead Legion. Well, we were told the Undead Legion is this direction. They're from the same place Big Hat Logan is from. But these guys kind of went crazy with crystal magic. I love that boss. I love that the copies are actually high pressure and you want to take them out. Unlike Pinwheel or the False Idol where you just hit the real one and then go next. And the enemies have a bunch of spells instead of just shooting the same projectile over and over and over fret again. Not, fret not, My feet are here firmly planted, for I am a lord, and this is my throne. All right. Give him the transposing kiln. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Yep. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferreth to thee. Cool. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? All right, so I can now turn souls into items. A demon soul I got, I can make the demon fist or the demon great axe. Uh, Pontiff's left, left eye recovers HP with successful attacks. So let's read this, because this is lore. Unique sorcery developed by extraordinary, extraordinary preacher twins known as the Crystal Sages. Cast a cascade of small crystal soul masses from above. In a pact said to have been formed long ago, one of the sages allied with the Undead Legion in order to train the sorcerers of Farron. Hollow Slayer Greatsword. Greatsword used for a lifetime by a masked warrior, by a masked knight. Harbors the fears that lurk within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Bestowed to a proper mirror knight long ago to hand to execute special sword techniques. So that's that's the sword of um, Lucatil. Uh, crystal Sage's Rapier. A thrusting sword with tiny crystals scattered across its blade used by the Crystal Sages for self-defense. The crystals boost the magic damage inflicted by the sword and the item discovery of its wielder. Fruits of the lifetime of research conducted by the sages. Demon's Great Axe. I love this axe. This was one of my favorite weapons in the game. It is so much fun. The Great Axe, a favor this Great Axe, a favorite among demons, contains the strength of fire. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be. Vort's Great Hammer. Great Hammer wielded by Vort, the Outrider Knight of the Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Uh, and then Pontiff's Left Eye. Bewitching ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. Recovers HP with successive attacks. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. One of those need a billion strength to use weapons. It's only 28. It's only 28. Our store's spear. One of the curses that festered within the belly of the Great Wood and a terrible weapon favored by Earl Arster the Impaler. The spear is enwreathed in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating foes restores HP. And then Demon's Fist. A demonic fist that burns with fiery essence its wielder can release this power through the use of its skill when two-handed fists are equipped to each hand. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to get the Crystal Sage's Rapier. Even though I'm not really going to be able to use it properly. Because I don't have high enough dexterity. I do want the Pontiff's left eye though. Should I use the Crystal Sage's Rapier until I can use the um, Moonlight Greatsword? I'll make it anyways. No, no. Oh. 
Welcome home, speak thine heart. I like Very how she refers to this place as home. Beacon. Welcome home. Always makes me feel so nice. Can't even go high enough to use it, so Very I'm not going well. to. Then take Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. May the flames guide thee. Alright, the caster guy is chilling somewhere over here. Ah, it is good to see ye in good health. What needs? What needs, bidding did I? This. I want to increase the scaling of my staff. Pretty, I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> <laughs> There's the caster. Oh, you're back then again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. All right. He offers Baron Flash Sword, Soul Great Sword. These are both cool spells. Either way. Come again. Oh well. I want to talk to Irina. Oh, Hi. champion of Ash, I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them, and with you, I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Like, hey, yo, ma'am. By the saint's ring. Have a pleasant journey, Champion of Ash. I pray for your safety. So, depending on what spell books you give the caster NPCs, will change the outcome of their stuff. There's a bunch of spell books you can find. I had an undead Ash thing. Interesting. And, like, if you give powerful ones to them, it'll change their outcome. If you give dark ones to them, it will change ah, their outcome. Is good. What needs? Give them the coal. Oh, my. This coal is from the Undead Legion. Yes, Used it is, Andre. To forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. Yeah. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, hey? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> Aha! What can he do? Sharp fire poison. Shriving. Shriving just removes it, so I could do heavy, sharp, refined, fire, or poison. Pretty beaker. I don't want to see. <laughs> Alright. Onward. We're really close to fighting the first lord. And this lord is such a fucking cool fight. There's also a skip you can do with the um, sages using this. Like if you hit this at just the right angle, you can actually jump up it and climb over the edge and skip the boss fight entirely. These sure are a lot of candles. <laughs> Got me some twinkling titanite. Big lads chilling. We're doing 
doing more damage. Able to deal with these guys quite a bit easier. I remember this area. Oh god, I'm so excited. God, look how cool that area is. We started way up there in Castle Lothric. We've made our way pretty far down. Dark Souls 3 actually has accurate world like marker placement, so. I feel like there's something over here that I'm forgetting about. Oh, there was something. A better shield. Oh, but it makes me fat roll. SMH. They went back to Dark Souls 1's areas line up correctly. Nope. Areas do not clip into each other. Areas stack on top of each other, connect to each other properly. The world is properly scaled. They actually thought this game out. Holy moly. Should have parried. That should have parried. That one missed. That should have parried. What the fuck is going on? Fine. Four parries that should have gone off, but then like, whatever, I guess. Gonna put that shield away, buddy. Parrying me was your only chance. Now you get to see some people we have not seen in a very long time. Oh, we're not quite there yet. We're getting there. Zombie wolves.
Probably just mean timing as well. Where do you think you're going? Hey, you get back here, you little rat. I remember this area now. I tried to hit him like three times and it didn't let me. Ouch. Wait. No. I went the wrong way. I could have sworn. I am not talking oh, to you, Dad. Merciful goddess. Mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> yeah, no, I'm not talking to you yet. So... Yep, I I went the wrong direction because I'm at the Cathedral of the Deep now. That is Slave Knight Gale. He takes you to the DLC if you talk to him. I don't. I'm not going to the end game DLC right now <laughs> for obvious reasons. If I remember correctly, the direction I really want to go is over here. Hi, crabs. I really didn't wake any of the crabs up. Huh. I gotta go up from over there. It's worth it. Crabs. It's fucking worth it, bro. Ow. Something tells me this is one of the tomes. No, it's just a shield. Never mind. It wasn't worth it. Alright, enemy time. I do not want to go to the Cathedral of the Deep before going to uh, the un the Farron Legion. These guys suck. They're really hard to beat. I say as I immediately parry him.
the reason why those guys are hard to deal with, their armor has really good poise. But hey, I guess all the Elden Ring PvP. Whoa, big crab. Hey, off. In all my old runs, I used to just skip them. I wouldn't even fight them. Huh. Oh, that's all about. Welchie. All right, guys. Obligatory poison swamp. Baron keep. See if I can remember everything that's here. You know, it just wouldn't be a Souls game if it didn't have a Poison Swamp over Slug. Ragged Mask. I almost have the whole stinky hobo ensemble. I used to, if, if you guys remember when I was playing Demon Souls, when I beat Garl Vinland and Maiden Astraea, I said I used to cosplay Souls as Garl Vinland in Dark Souls 3. I'd wear an armor set that make, that looked like Garl, and I used a big faith hammer that was based off of Garl, because there is one in this game. This is where I'd always do the PvP at Garl. Yep, G-A-R-L, Garl Vinland. He was the protector knight of Maiden Astraea. It's the shard. It's a good thing I came here. If you stars as a character named Garon, you wonder if it's a shout out. It could be. Garl is a beloved classic character. Of Soulsborne games. And he has had knockoffs in every Souls game since Demon's Souls. Velstat, the really cool boss in Dark Souls 2, is a reference to him. Uh, Paladin Leroy is a reference to him. So this is what I need to do while I'm here. I need to ex extinguish all the flames. There's a bunch of flames thrown out all around this swamp. I gotta put them all out. Once they're out, the door to the Abyss Watchers will open. I think there's four of them total. Yep. That's where they are. God, I miss this actually cool, ominous feeling that Souls games are supposed to have. Fine resin. Alright, we'll keep going. We can actually see the towers 
if we look up. So we can know which way we need to go. Since I'm already poisoned, I'm now free to just run on the poison willy-nilly. There's actually no negative to doing it, because my poison bar can't refill. Yeesh, that scream, yep. Dark Souls 3 likes its screams. Oh, the big one. I forgot about the big one. Also, if you're wondering, no, I can't go fast on this. The thick sludge makes you walk. It's okay. It is the poison swamp. It's an expected mechanic. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Ah, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Ah! My head! Get the shit out of me. I was not ready for it. Okay, there's another torch right there. Dabbing the empty air as a finisher. Yeah. I'm just that good. I stabbed the air and he felt the damage as it was meant to be felt. Torch. Good kitty. During this cutscene, I'm gonna grab a drink. Torch number two. Either one more or two more. I don't remember. Poison is annoying, caster man. But but bonfire. Where's the last torch? Because there's the door. Hold on. Which tower lets me climb? Is it this? I need to go up. And get, gather my bearings, figure out where the fuck I am. Okay, it is just one more torch that I need though. I'm just saying, could you imagine how cool of a reference it would have been if they had the actual large sort of moonlight in this game and it was surrounded by slugs like that like it is in demon souls that would have been so peak there's the ladder i'm looking for uh. 
That's where the large sort of moonlight was in Demon Souls. It was in Swamp Land and the Swamp of Sorrow. Surrounded by a bunch of slugs, because the moonlight night, she got eaten by slugs. Mmm, that's the soup. Alright, up here is a couple of interesting things. It's a mini boss, a covenant, a pretty substantial lore piece, and a high enough vantage point to see where the hell the last torch is. Over there. Cool. Ready for the interesting lore? Set the bonfire. Big wolf. The old wolf of Farron. Legion etiquette. You join this covenant, you'll invade people who are in the swamp and defend the Abyss Watchers. But are you starting to notice some connections? Abyss Watchers that follow a large old wolf? Things are lining up to be pretty similar to a certain character from Dark Souls 1. But here we go. Mini boss time. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. Asylum demon. I got grabbed. Don't kill me, please. I broke free before he could throw me. Two demons. Hell yeah. Already two demons in, and that's two more good demons than Dark Souls 2 had. Soul of a stray demon. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength used to acquire numerous souls. The stray demon, now lacking even a trace of flame, was once the gatekeeper of Lothric. Look how pretty this is. Fighting the asylum demon. Like this. So fucking cool. It's so cool. I fucking love it. Now we can use that soul to go make the demon great axe if we wanted. But that's interesting. Now lacking any trace of its flame. But that's like all that the demons were. Rampant growth caused by misuse of flame. Dream chaser's ashes. Damn, missed it. Oh. Alright, well, we put out that torch. We put out that torch. Now we gotta put out that torch over there. That's the next torch we gotta do. Uh, I have 23,000 souls. Let's go level up. God, it's so cool. I love this game so much. Just wait until you see the first Lord of Cinder. Because he is so fucking cool. Welcome home, speak them. 
Very well. Then talk Haken. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames go. Alright. I'm gonna give her the ashes. Ashen One, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust, stuff of a fool, won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> what does that offer? Hidden blessing? Hey, I can now buy Titanite shards. That's actually huge. Exile mask. Also, look, I could get the sage's big hat. I can get the sage's big hat. I need the hat. I need the hat. I need it. I need it. I need it. Give, give. First, check out this armor. Oh, that looks so good. Check. Let, let's look at some of the armor sets here, because you guys gotta see this shit. Look at the Fallen Knight armor set. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I need better robes for the chest armor because I am going to make my character look the way that they looked in all the other games, but for now, this works. I would like to upgrade my staff even more if I can. Ah, it is good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Pretty, I don't. <laughs> I want the big hat. I want the big hat really bad. Can I buy two from you? There we go. Passion. Upgrade my staff, Andre. Man, the heretic staff already has a higher scaling. It just has a higher flat scaling. I don't know if I should be using it or not. For now, I'm fine. Alright. Let's put up the last flame. Fight the big boy. This boss... Like, three days ago, when we were playing Dark Souls 2, I said... Sounds like a neat choice. Yeah, it is. It like The, the differentiations between stuff in this game are done so much better. Okay, so the flame is that direction. Right there. What was I saying? I was saying something. So, a couple days ago, I streamed Dark Souls 2 and I said, Man, before this stream, I was listening to some music that was so fucking cool from Dark Souls 3 and it makes me want to play Dark Souls 3 so bad. This is the boss that has the theme I was talking about. really hard to deal with. Once he starts stunning you, you're just fucked. I need to sneak up on him, not the other way around. I didn't expect to fight him, but he just came running at me, so... Like I said at the beginning when I first saw him, I saw him and I was like, I don't know if I want to fight this guy. 
It's just a big bitch that spams uh, little pursuers that chase you. You need to not let them do that in the first place and then you're good. Fight him outside of the goop. Summons are so fucking annoying. I wish I had a ranged attack. I wish I just had spells to kill him with. I could go buy him. Like, I wasn't even near his staff for two of those smashes, but the AoE is so big. It's giving me flashbacks to the demon fire sage in Dark Souls 1 with stupid AoEs. It'd be fine if I could get behind him, but I literally can't. No matter how badly I want to, I literally can't get behind him because he just turns faster than I do and he has all his little pursuers chasing me. Why did it start casting again? That is not the button I pressed. What? Oh, that's fun. Like, even if I fully prep for the fight, the dude just three shots me. And I'm just constantly having to deal with the little summons. It's really annoying. I don't want to be fighting this guy right now. I want to fight him when I have ranged spells and shit. Can I please get behind you, you fucker? Got him. That wasn't unfair, that was just annoying. I had to use the tree. Which you can't use if he aggro's on you when you're out in the open, I might add. Oh my god, another one. How about no? How about I don't? How about I choose not to? How about you suck my dick? There we go. Ah, oh, goosebumps. Here we go. Yeah. 
<laughs> Getting giddy. This is such a cool boss. How about I grab this item and I homeward bone and leave? Go to the shrine bonfire. Let's burn. Undead bone shards. Did we got one? Did we get more than one? Nope. I think we did get an Estes flask shard though. Ah, just wasn't it? Pretty be careful. I don't want. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go fight the first lord. No, I don't want to go to this bunfire. Er, uh, no, I do. I do. Never mind. This is right. we go! Not only do I fucking love this boss, I love this boss's theme, I love this boss's design, I love this boss's fucking everything. Everything about this boss is so goddamn perfect. And they've got a really fun gimmick. And are actually pretty hard. Crow witches. Yep, these are the Corvians. The bird people. They are an expanded idea on the bird people from Dark Souls 1 that were unwanted, so they were cast into the painted world of Ariamis to be forgotten about. First, we get to fight a cool enemy that we have not fought in a hot minute. Stalkers! We've got Dark Wraiths from Dark Souls 1. Yeah, they killed stuff for me because they're here to kill just as much as I am. Hey, I got the mask first try? Oh, fuck yeah. Bone Mask of the Dark Wraiths, relics of a small country that fell to the dark long ago. New Londo from Dark Souls 1. Looks as if it may crumble to dust at any moment. The Dark Wraiths were the oldest of the Red Eye Invaders, and rumored to have served a primordial serpent. Those rumors are true. There's the boss door. Red Eye Orb. There's something over here. I don't remember what it is. Also, you can hear the boss. Can hear him. 
All right, here we go. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I love this fight that much that it's actually gotten me nervous. Okay. Ready? The first Lord of Cinder. This theme, everything, it's just, I'm, I'm just gonna shut up and let it play out. The Abyss Watchers. Youchers. Oh, here comes the second one. Holy shit, they're so fucking cool, man. Take him down. Ouch. Being a humanoid, he can be staggered by my attacks. So if I do this right... Ouch. Yeah, and they fight each other. Tell us why you're a lord of cinder. Can I buff up? Thank you, very honorable. Holy moly! so hard to avoid. I'm losing a lot of health.
Got him! Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. Yeah, that's such a fun fight. That was so much fun. I'm out of Estes Flask. That could not... One more hit and it would have been over. Holy shit. Oh. Alright. Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. The blood was spread among the Abyss Watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the Wolf Blood Master. Cinders of a Lord. Cinders of a Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as Cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared Wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as Lord. Oh, fuck, that was fun. So if I, if I go to Firelink Shrine and we look at their weapons, it's going to explain something really, really cool. If you haven't drawn the conclusions ah, yourself huh. already. Undead Legion Helm. A tire of the Abyss Watchers, the Undead Legion of Farron. These undead warriors vowed to partake of wolf blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the Abyss, fighting a constant war with its abominations. This pointed steel helm was a distinct symbol of the Legion, shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. God, it's so fucking cool. Ashen Monk. So the Undead Legion... Here, let me just talk to this guy. He'll explain it for me. Aha, that returned. I did and win, Terran. It is so. Oh. So here here here's the big lore drop, alright? Baron Greatsword. Greatsword of the Abyss Watchers, which is at atypically paired with an unusual dagger. The dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand while the greatsword is in the right, a unique technique that was synonymous with the Undead Legion. Confound foes in a manner of wolves hunting prey. The other weapon that you get from the Undead Legion soul? The Wolf Knight's Greatsword. Greatsword of a knight tainted by the Dark of the Abyss and master of the Wolf's Blood of Farron. The Wolf Knight was the first Abyss Watcher and his sword is more punished against creations of the Abyss. They're followers of Artorius. That's Artorius's legion. A legion of knights that followed his example after we spread his legend in Dark Souls 1. A group of undead that partook of the blood of the old wolf of Farron diffused their souls into one and used that one soul to light the fire. Because of that, they couldn't die. And having gone insane, staring into the abyss, they just sat in that room killing each other over and over and over again until we showed up. And forced all of the blood into one vessel. This one, yes. This one, if you left hand it, you get special moves. And then this one is a twin weapon. If you try to two hand the greatsword, you'll pull out the little side knife and you get the move set of the boss. Where you like do a running jump attack, stab the ground with the knife, and then do a wide sweep with the sword. It's so cool. It's actually so cool. I want Havel's ring. I'm gonna grab it. Now, now. The Undead Legion is oh, they're so fucking cool, man. What a sick joke. Asking us to be talking. <laughs> Their armor set super cool too. God, they're just so badass. However, even more important. 
We may not get any levels from that because I just spent all the souls, but we get big hat. That's what matters. Big hat. Ah. I know you. Been some time. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Yeah? Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> He's not a he's not a very nice man. All right. Can I still fast roll if I use this? I can. Cool. Bone, I think what you linked is the first stone, not the first. <laughs> ah, yes, the first kidney stone. He draws great strength. I love that boss fight so much. Oh, before we do anything, we gotta go put the cinders on the throne. And that is the end of the legacy of Artorias. God, and it was done justice. That's such a fucking cool fight. It is worth it to pass the first stone. <laughs> yeah, it's one down. And let others piss on nothing. Welcome home, speak. Ashen one, sovereignless. I will show Ashen one. Farewell, may the fame. May the fame guide thee. Okay, let's test something. Sorry, Della. All right. 281. 287. Yeah. This staff is better. Heretic staff. Catalyst used by generations of heretic sorcerers. Sorcery is a logical academic discipline. And the power of sorcery depends heavily on the caster's intelligence. I should have been upgrading this staff. I shouldn't have been even using the other staff. This one's just better, at least for right now. That is what, that is what needs to be forged. Pretty, I don't. <laughs> Pretty, I don't. <laughs> Ashen one. Ashen one. Oh. That is what me. Pretty me like that. My neighbors do not know not the sacrifice I make for them as they call the police for noise disturbance. Bones out here. <laughs> Continuing the age of fire. Well, his ungrateful neighbors call the police. Disgusting. I feel for you. Sorry, you have to go through that bone. Alright. Yeah, that's right. We got the... Sorry, I can't use it yet. Get the dunk. Get the spin. Do not believe Stone Passer Frant. <laughs> Kidney Seeker Framped. Wouldn't be a Souls game without the catacombs. Ugh, I wish I had holy damage. 
Holy damage perma kills these guys, by the way. Ahead. Wait, where, where the fuck is she? Pikaye, motherfucker. Where's the necromancer? The furtive kidney, so easily forgotten. The skeletons are being permanently reanimated by a necromancer somewhere. Where are they? Stones for Ariandel. Stones for Ariandel. <laughs> oh, the Carthus the Sundead are cool. to play the game. Damn. No, I'm not. Was that the Necromancer? I don't think it is. That guy was aggroed on me for way farther than he should have been. They have an aggro range where they're supposed to drop off after a while. Hold on, do I have any, like, holy? Nah. I have bleed. I have no holy. Even <laughs> so, I search, but I cannot find it. A stone of my very own. Is that the necromancer? It was. So the big skeletons are the necromancers. I could have sworn they were necromancers like in Dark Souls 1. One way to make sure they never respawn is to kick them off the ledge, by the way. Seek, seek, less seeker of the stone. Become a true patient. back around to down here. Hush, kitty. Don't see me.
You jumpy motherfucker. Fuck you, stop it. See ya. I don't wanna be you though. But then I'd be stupid, hey. It's not dangerous. No, it is, it is, it is, it is. I got shot in the ass and it killed me. A random arrow from somewhere outside of where I can fucking see staggered me into the ball of bones, and I died. I, I don't feel like asking that the enemies have an actual detection range that isn't automatic and limitless is that much to fucking ask for. What do I know, right? Here comes the ball. Ball came back. Can you knock it off, you fucking cunt? Excuse me? Jesus. Start this milk thing. A skeleton triggered the trap. Killed me. <sighs> Alright. Alright, that strategy works. I got the cart to smoke ring. There's no point in going back in that little corner anymore. Boost dexterity and it makes it so that when I dodge, I do this. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it increases my invincibility frames, too. I was outside of that range, but whatever game. Rolly Polly. Good job, Bone. Yeah. I heard it.
These throwing pot guys fucking suck, by the way. It's literally, they took... It's the glintstone rock throwing guys from Elden Ring, except for they infinitely respawn. And it's a shorter cooldown, and the orbs do more damage, and they chase you faster. Fucking chill out a little bit, my guy. Can I jump this chasm? Potentially. I'm not risking it. Oh. Run one at a time. Come on, Kartus guy. those crunchy sounds of the bones underneath my feet. Almost fell in that hole. Bone wheel skeletons, oh god. Holy schmoly River V can't shut up. Usually when people who have had a good reputation for a long time get called out for shit, they can't handle it. They just can't handle it. Holy holy. Fucking hell. That actually jump scared the shit out of me. I thought I'd get stuck on the doorway. I didn't think it'd follow me through. Hey, can you guys not perma stunlock me, please? Fuck you. Yeah. True, just shut up and own up to your mistakes. You are a piece of shit. Say, damn, I was a piece of shit. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. And then don't do it again. It's not fucking rocket science. You don't gotta go through so many fucking mental gymnastics to try and explain why you're not a piece of shit when what you tried to do is monopolize something you don't even partake in. Post music other people make on the internet. That is the entirety of your involvement in it. Those guys are scary. They're jumpy. They're very jumpy and floaty. They don't want to sit still. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. Seems like it.
The ball has gone to sleep. Never mind. The ball woke up. Barely heard the sound of that trap go off. And I managed to kill the respawn ones before that other skeleton could respawn, which is nice. Their biggest weakness is their biggest strength. The layout of the catacombs makes it really hard for them to jump. Grave Warden's ashes. So I'm able to punish them pretty easily by just getting them caught in a corner. And then continuing. There's one more area to go. Crap. Hey kitty, what's up? I'm not going that way. I changed my mind. Slimes dropping from the ceiling. Fucking bone wheel skeletons. I've learned my lesson. Not going that way. Are you getting sleepy, Terran? We won't be going for too crazy long. Pretty sure I can get invaded here. But I kind of want to. Or am I just at the boss? Did I get... Holy shit, did I get through the Karthus Catacombs that quick? I remember it being so much longer. Yep. Alright, boss time. This boss is really cool. I, I, I need to stop saying that. I'm going to be saying that before literally every single boss in this game. Touch Goblet. Touch. Last time. Hi, Lord Walner.
Got two. Oh, he got his big sword. Hey, can I please hit your hand? Just lurches forward and the mist kills me. Okay, whatever. That was mine. It should have broken. I need to break that hand first because he swings his sword at that hand. Still a really cool fight, even if it's a gimmick fight. High Lord Volnir is really cool. A big Skeletron. Even if it's a gimmick fight, it's a coherently designed gimmick fight. Yep. Even though I don't know why he just decided... So the way that he works is you have to stay in front of him. If he gets past you, the fog that's behind him will kill you. Really fast. And the idea is that he slowly pushes forward. He doesn't jump 25 feet forward and immediately kill you. Because that would be a bad gimmick. That's not the way he's supposed to work. I don't know why he did that. But whatever. Like, I was literally behind the back of his spine, and he's a very big lad. That was- that was kind of stupid. There we go. Got his strong hand down. Now he's gonna pull out his sword. Sword, big boy. Now get your last bracelet while you pull your sword out. Got it. Got him. Bye. Air of fire destroyed. Soul of High Lord will near. That is a really cool fight. That's the way the first fu fucking one should have gone, but I guess he just lurched forward really far. Punished me for trying to hit his hand. It is what it is. And I mean, lore-wise, it makes sense why that fog kills you. I'll be able to read it off in a second. The sword of High Lord Volnir is one of the coolest weapons in this game, too. It's too bad I'm not going to be able to use it because I'm intelligence, not faith. Full of High Lord Wolnir, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Lord Wolnir of Kartha sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. I 
and go level up too. That's the end of this path anyways. Ah. Volnir's Crown. Crown of Volnir the Curthus Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Volnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one and Volnir the One High Lord. And cool. Ash. I have ashes to give her, but I want to talk to Mr. Soul's transposer guy. Aha, that's so. Black Serpent. Pyromancy discovered from the abyss by High Lord Wolnir that inspired the black arts of the Grave Wardens. These undulating black flames that trace releases undulated black flames that trace the ground. Be it sorcery or pyromancy, all techniques that infringe on humanity lead to the same place. That is to say, they all seek a will of their own. And then Wolnir's holy sword. A holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Wolnir fell into the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. The holy sword, together with three armlets stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some semblance of comfort. Now. The only thing that was keeping him alive down there were those bracelets. Because he's we literally just fought him inside the abyss. The moment we broke the bracelets, he had no more light and the ah. abyss took him. Gracious. That's why he gets dragged back Passing instead of dying. I only... <laughs> Could get the tower key. I don't know if that's even worth it. Ah, tis what neat. I don't have any answer shards. Mr. Casterman, Mr. Casterman. Back again, I suppose. I want. Heavy soul arrow. Don't forget. Now where's the pyromancer? I have something for him. Heavens. She was already dead. Oh. Heavens. Poor guy. There he is. Ah, oh, there you are. I wish to for trust as proper. Thanks for the pyromancy Careful. plan, buddy. <laughs> I'm Grave afraid I cannot plan. accept this pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself. It is a spell forbidden in the great swamp and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Interesting. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> oh no! He died. They didn't accept his souls. Rest in peace, Yoel. Oh, good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig, then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. 
and they made him a lord of cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> Aldrich is one of the coolest characters. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. Yeah. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Thanks. How are you doing, Irina? Oh, champion of Earth, do you wish to hear a tale? You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry. But you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Yep. You have to find Grail Divine Tomes. Have a pleasant journey. I pray for your safety. She's so kind. It's no wonder fucking 17 year old me liked her so much. You have to get her tomes in Braille. Now we can we can walk forward a little bit farther. But it's going to be a dead end because we have to go back to the Cathedral of the Deep first. So honestly, I think we're just going to skip the middleman and go to the Cathedral of the Deep. I want to fight one more boss. I mean, we could save it for next stream. Welcome home. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Yes, ma'am. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. You have a shitty joke for me? Do I want to hear it? That's the important question. Alright, cleansing chapel. Why does a mosquito greet a lady in the... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you shut the fuck up right now. Stop talking, Slave Knight Gale. Yes, your DLC is super cool. Stop talking. Notched whip. So Aldrich was a proper cleric. But he developed the habit of yummy, yummy, nummy, num nums on other people. Malady, your favorite Magic the Gathering card. Holy shit! Ah, no! 
Oh, get out of me! Got worms. I think that's how worms work. Gross. Icky. Icky, yucky, no good. Hey chat, would you guys love me if I was a worm? Ba, ba, ba. Damn it, Bone, you're supposed to say worm house. That's the only acceptable response to that anymore. Hmm, worm house. Holy shit, you just came in from downtown. Could you imagine if those guys actually gave good souls and you could just farm them like that? We have like 22 souls. They give fucking jack shit. Give. Curse ward, great shield. Got maggots all over me, and they're eating my flesh, and it's making me bleed. Imagine the head, guys. How much? Is, how much does it cost to have someone else admitted to a mental asylum? Doesn't get rid of the bugs? I thought fire gets rid of them. Oh! Can I get rid of these fucking maggots, please? Another one of the bigger crystal lizards from the beginning. Finally, the maggots are gone. There's a bunch of directions I can go now. Fuck.
Okay, that's not fake. Okay, that looped all the way around. Okay. Not as many directions as I thought. It's like two. I'm gonna be honest, it feels so fucking good to be playing this game. <laughs> it feels so good. And I got maggots again. Find the bite ring. That's nice. Alright, that's a dead end. Never mind. I think we got everything that was down here. Guys, look, no stupid, super fast, overly sped up climbing up a ladder animation. Going up like that. Maggots fell off finally. Here's the area that had the big copper spikes stopping the rotten girl. Soft really does love their tree analogies and their horticulture references. Clearing through. Nice. I see another big lady. They're throwing Lloyd's talismans at me, so I can't use my Estus flasks, assholes. They're denying me heals. Can you knock it off, you little punch? one hit like the useless fucking trash you are. Oh. 
Yeah, why don't you deny this healing, you little piece of shit? Super move. Sword and ass. Go. Sword and ass. Oh my god, a second one. Where did that last thrall come from? What the hell was that? I have no way to heal. Why I'm gonna die? Cause I'm gonna run out of fucking heals. At least let me open a shortcut or saw. Ain't that deep. Chill out. Chill out. It ain't that deep. Open sesame. Nah, fighting that would be suicide. And I won't get health back for doing it. Fighting them at this health would be suicide. Drexel slimes. They're made of poop juice. Mm, poopy poopy. don't like this guys. I got the skirt. Nice. I look so pretty. Oh, there's another one here. Shortcut. Come on. Bring me back to the front door. Tell me I made it. Tell me I made it. You know, killing a priest is a bad luck. Is bad luck. Well, good news for me, they're not priests. They're deacons. Anyways, um, where the fuck am I? Yeah, shortcut. If you start talking again, I'm. I swear, I'm gonna not do anything about it, but be mildly upset. Um...
I know I've said it a, a thousand times at this point. But this upcoming boss influenced so much for me. I base like eight D and D encounters that I've done over the years since this game came out off of this upcoming boss. Hi, Mr. Giant. I am speed. Lloyd sword ring. Oh, that's actually scared me. Let's make it nine. I probably will. Seek Guidance. For those of you who don't know what Seek Guidance does, around the world are hidden dev messages like developer messages and if you cast seek guidance you'll make them visible so you're literally getting assistance from the devs by asking for guidance from the gods i love that that's such a unique way to go about it God, combat is so good in this game. Big man sit, popping a squat. My favorite example of the dev text seek guidance thing is in Dark Souls 1. When you first meet Patches, if you cast seek guidance, a dev note that pops up, pops up that just says liar. Deep Braille Divine Tom. Thought there was a invisible path here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Big Cathedral Knight. These guys are really cool looking. The big fucking Crusader bucket helmets are badass. Oh, wait. Yeah, I remember. I remembered this room, I saw it, and something overcame me as I slowly remembered. Oh God. I, I swear, I just had, like, I walked into this room, I looked around, and I just had, like, a sixth sense go off in the back of my head. Like, a little person on my shoulder was like, 
something's really wrong, look up. And I was like, I can't figure it out. And I looked up and I saw it. That scared the shit out of me. Oh. I don't think Sunvi knows about this though. I don't think she would tell you to look up. True. Because she's short. Long finger, Kirk. It's Kirk from Dark Souls 1, guys. He's back and he's slow walking at me all menacing. Yeah, walk in the poison. That's a good idea. Come on, Kirk. Got him. Even if it's still a fucking partial parry, the game won't give me one single normal. Rosaria's fingers. Got him. Oh, Kirk. Always a simp. But I can respect it. Open up the cage. I don't remember what doing that does. There's a bunch of slimes around him. I want to kill this guy. Drops loot that I want. I like blue as this. Bro does not care. He is completely unfazed. 101 things are going wrong in his life, and this is not one of them. Wake up and come over here, you big brute. He threw poop at me! Hey! Get over here and fight me! Bro just threw poop at me and went back to bed. What the hell? That's not cool. Come on, man. That's not cool.
got the spirit. He's just a little misguided. Broke his mewing streak. That shoes. Epic. I like how this like one and a half inches of sludge is actually making me walk at a crawling pace. What the fuck? Oh, I remember you guys now. Fucking grubby boys. Wait, I'm at the boss. But there's so much area here. How did I get here this fast? Is this a shortcut? It must be. Is that a lever? It is. I don't want to fight another giant in the sludge. Fine, I'll fight another giant in the sludge. Two mewing streaks broken, baby. More large titanite shards, I'll take it. I swear to God, I'm gonna be using this fucking long sword until the moment that ooh, full maiden set. I'm gonna be using this long sword until the moment I have a moonlight great sword at this rate, because I just keep upgrading it and nothing else. Shortcut. Cut quotation marks. This leads back to the front of the cathedral. Saints Bident. Go Biden. Go Biden. Wake up. Go Biden.
Man, for church, this place has a lot of poop. A lot of poop. Big poop time. Other shortcut. Yeah. Do the big giant do the big giants respawn? I don't think they do. I'm gonna go up here first, just in case. Back up here. There's a ladder here if I yep. A deacon. Got the deep ring. I have a couple rings actually. I should check what they do. Deep ring allows attunement of additional spells. Ooh. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep allows the tournament of additional spells. The cathedral slumber in the cathedral slumber things most terrible. And as such the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotesqueries at hand. A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, recovers FP from critical attacks. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently has a desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life, luxuriating in his victim's screams. That's fucked up. Anyways. That ring's good, because it gives two attunement slots, while the saint's ring only gives one. I like that a lot more than um, Dark Souls 2's way of doing it, where it's because what if it, if this was Dark Souls 2, it would be Saint's Ring allows for additional slots, and then it would be Saint's Ring plus one allows for two additional slots. Saint's Ring plus two allows for three instead of it just being plus one and plus two. It's the different rings. I'd rather the world be expanded upon than just adding a plus one and a plus two behind it. Uninspired. Grubby lad. Grubby lad. Chase me, dare you. I said chase me, not blow fucking darts at me. What's wrong with you? Do you not know how to accept a challenge? Come on then, you big bitch. God, he's so cool. Sort up the ass. Sort up the ass. I 
I love the architecture here. Like, look at all of this. Oh, it's so cool. I like how they have their idols covered. Like, they're shamed in it. It's such simple world design. The whole shrine itself is just sinking. It's so good for just telling little bits of story. That's something that I feel like Dark Souls 2 really needed more of. I could fight the boss, but I'm gonna go over here first. And then we fight the boss and then we're done for the night. Sane. I am a knight of Katarina. You're lying I to me. I managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. He's lying. I'm surprised, Eggy. I don't think you want to correct him. I don't think you understand what's going on right now. Allow me to explain. With an onion. It's patches. Well, <laughs> say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. I already killed the giant, you <laughs> fucking dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. I killed the giant. Yeah, cry about it. Damn. Cry about it. Throw your little tantrum. Damn. Throw your little tantrum. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut up. Jackass. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't notice. If you listen... To him, it's pretty obvious that his patch is going. Ooh, ooh, I am a knight of Katarina. I read quite a pickle. I've located this cathedral store of treasure. It's right across the way. Siegwald and and all of, all the Ziegs. They'd never do that. They're honorable warriors here for glory and adventure, for duty, not for petty coins. I could have just killed him, but if I remember, Patches sell something I actually want, so I'll humor him, I guess. Where's the lever? You can't trust people on Cinder anymore. True. 
Where's where's the fucking lever to raise this back up? I want to go across there. Oh, patches, you bitch. Alright, whatever. I'll backtrack later. Boss time! Now, this boss is not hard. Where a, a lot of the early bosses in this game, like, there's some really fucking cool ones, like the Undead Legion. But they make them cool with gimmicks instead of just being straight up hard. For example, the uh, the Crystal Sage. Their whole gimmick was they're the, they're the teleporting makes copies of myself caster archetype. Then there's the Farron Legion, which is unique. A boss that fights you as two, but you also get a friend because they'll hit each other. At least until phase two. This boss... He's a weirdie, as in he's a special archetype of boss. What is this? Horus the Hushed. Henri of Astora. I don't know if I have to summon them for their quest, but I'm not going to. Pyrrhus of the Sunless Realms. I'm looking it up. You do not need to summon any NPCs for the quest. Perfect. But it is important to note. Cirrus of the Sunless Realms, this, this haughty moon beauty, and then Anri and her friend are both up there. Time for a cool boss. Are we gonna watch the fifth Annie live stream as a group? I mean, we could. All right. Here we go. This boss inspires me so much and has one of my favorite boss themes that I've used in a ton of D&D fights. Let's go. Notice how that soul keeps going up and into different ones. Oh, the true deacon spawned. Dark magic. Whoa. God, this is so cool. This is how you do a hive mind boss, right? Get around the corner and buff the sword again. That's this. I didn't dodge it. I gotta carve through him. Hit the main deacon. Ah. This theme goes so fucking hard. No more dark. Ah. More dark magic.
Kill the head deacon. Got him. Oh, I love that fight so much. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. We got soul of the deacons of the deep. So of the Deacons of the Deep, one of twisted souls steeped in strength. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Now we got the small doll. Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sits in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. You'll post it to the Discord? When is the... Uh... Thing? Like, when is it? Twenty seventh. Hell yeah, we can watch it then. Oh yeah, that sounds great. But yeah, this giant coffin with all the stone deacons on top of it. This room is so fucking cool. This is Aldrich's coffin. I fucking love this. So much. God, I love this. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. How's it going on, Ray? Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. Thanks, ma'am. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep. And so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in the Boreal Valley. A pilgrim told me that the city lies and so be Yep, I've already gone okay. there. Well, I've already gone most of the way there. I've almost gotten there. We beat Wolner. So Aldrich wasn't Welcome at the home, cathedral. One. Speak thine heart's desire. Very well, then take. I'll touch the darkness with a new baby. Hmm. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Aha, that so. So what can I get from the deacons? Cleric's candlestick. Candlestick used as both sword and catalyst, used for worship by the deacons of the deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon MacDonald, became both clergymen and the sorcerers. Sorcery to Arch Archdeacon Royce and his deacons. Said to have been imparted to them by MacDonald of the Boreal Valley, fires dark soul dregs. Souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. Yeah, that's cool. No, no. Ah, well met. How? Alright, I don't want to give the Braille Deep Ashen one. Tom. <laughs> I do not want to give the Braille Deep Tome 
to the lady. To Irina. A braille divine tome of the deep belonging to the deacons of the cathedral. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of the deep. Intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales are added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. If I were to give that to her, she'll go insane, if I remember correctly. That is good, wasn't it? Can't upgrade that yet. I cannot use my Titanite scales on the Crystal Sage's rapier because I need to use it on the other thing. As much as I wish I could. I cannot. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> that is good, wasn't he? Pretty, I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see my work squandered. I love Andre Welcome so much. Speak that. He's so Very good. Well. Then take no Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Thanks. Alright. Well. That's gonna be it. For now. That's gonna be it for today's stream. I'm tired. We've been playing for about six hours. I love this game so much. It's so nice to play an actually good Dark Souls, man. Dark Souls 1 is a classic and I love it. But it is old. And Dark Souls 2 is a classic and I love it. It's not a very good Dark Souls sequel. Dark Souls 3 is a classic. It's a great Dark Souls sequel. It's a fantastic Souls game. It's a good RPG in general. I love this game so fucking much. So good. Alright. Well. We made some big progress. We killed one lord. And we are now set on the path to go to Irithyll, the Boreal Valley. Such a good game. Genuinely such a good game. I love this game so much. I'm so happy that we're playing it. I'm so fucking happy that we're playing it. It's so much fun, man. <sighs> I want to keep playing, but I'm tired. That's a sign that it's a good game when you want to keep playing even though you're drop dead tired. But it's almost five. I really should get some sleep. I appreciate you guys hanging out as always, as per usual. Nothing new there. I always appreciate you guys hanging out. I'm going to keep it short because I do want to lay down. I am tired. But yes, Eggy, we can watch it. On the 27th, when that comes out, we can watch it. That'll be fun. Might make a stream of it. Otherwise, might just watch it live on Discord. Whatever works best. Uh, no point overcomplicating it. Tired. Alrighty. So, Phantom, what? What what is it, Bone? What question you got for me, huh? When are you gonna work on that new war bond? I'll work on it soon.
I don't even have any of the extra war bonds unlocked, dude. I'm still working on the main war bond. I haven't played in like a week and a half. I'm tired. I appreciate you guys a lot. Or not for solo dives. You said that. I imagine you kill yourself a lot. <laughs> and they're loud too, I bet. But take care of yourselves, guys. We'll be back again tomorrow to play some more. I love this game. I can't wait to play more of it. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Hi, Fenza Scar. Sorry, we're just ending the stream. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys later. You guys have a good night. We'll be back again tomorrow playing some more, getting farther in the game. I will see you guys then. Thank you all. Take care.